Hello. So I think we're live as usual back with uh, all the technical issues. Uh, we can't live without it. But uh, this is uh, episode five of the Gasly Goombas uh, podcast. And we are very happy to be back. Uh, and it also has an uh, alternate title today. So it is uh, episode five, but it is also part three of uh, when the fuck are we going to get uh, done talking about our backlogs? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Hopefully today. Uh, so let's see. Now we got kind of tussled into it. Uh, hopefully the chat works today. I see Anna says hi. So that is a very good sign. So yeah, I had some technical issues with, uh, I think it was uh, OBS. So there's no green screen, no bullshit today. You get my, my ceiling and you can still see like the games in the back. So that, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Um, and yes, my name is uh, Sunny. I will be your your host today. So uh, chaotic as usual, but uh, luckily I'm not here on my own. I have uh, I have Kim with me. Hello, Kim. Hello. And of course, uh, Daniel as well. Hi, Daniel. Yo, hey. Uh, yeah, Yo, as usual. Uh, my name what is Jump King tonight. It's Jump King tonight. Yeah, yeah, you can see on the title. You're not wearing the crown. Oh, no. yeah, I see. It's Jump King. It's oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> oh. I even have a hat ready if uh, if necessary, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I should, when my green screen is not working, maybe I should wear my hat instead. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we uh, are going to try to finish the, the backlog topic today. And I, I think if we don't do it today, we should put it like way down in our backlog and then <laughs> skip to another topic. We, we can't keep doing this. We will do um, it. Today. Yeah, but before we get to that, we also have uh, an hour or two of uh, other stuff we are going to talk about. No, we will see how long it takes. Uh, yeah, just short. Uh, we welcome and we're going to talk, of course, uh, about what we've been playing since last time. Uh, and then on Saturday, there was a Jump King event at uh, your place, Daniel. And uh, sadly, I missed it, but uh, I think we'll we'll get back to that. But uh, I put it on the agenda because uh, I still want to hear all about it. It looks like you guys had fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah, then then our backlog topic. And uh, I'll I'll sprinkle a few things in here and there maybe. And uh, Kim, you have your uh, tangent background ready, I yeah, hope. Yeah, of course. That's good. Uh, and as I promised, I have prepared a new lightning round. So, but it's a bit uh, different uh, this time. So uh, I think it's uh, we're gonna make it a bit more competitive between you guys today, if that's okay. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, and then also last time you, Daniel, you told me I needed to have uh, some topics ready if uh, I need to leave to go to to the bathroom. <laughs> and since last time the bathroom closest to me, the I don't know everything is totally uh, clogged. Uh, the sink, the, the, the shower, the toilet. I don't know. But we, we had problems with that last year as well. So if I need to go to the toilet, I'll actually have to go to the one that is f further away. And you know, I have a very long house. So it's like a <laughs> kilometer back and forth if I need to go. But I have a, t a list of topics. Maybe I, may I have a yeah? good idea. Before you go to the bathroom next time, don't take the comic section before you leave. <laughs> because last time no. you took the whole comic no, section. No, no, no. But listen to me, Daniel. I told you I'm prepared this time because you asked me to <laughs> prepare some uh, toilet break topics. And I actually, I have a list of 20. I think we could do an entire episode just with these <laughs> mini topics. But uh, but we'll see if uh, if we if we need them. Then we'll, uh, we'll get into it. But uh, enough of me talking. Um, I want to follow up on a few things before we talk about what we've been playing, uh, because yeah, I think that's, uh, I mostly talk to you guys uh, here and we have our group chat as well, but, uh, for our viewers and listeners as well, uh, Daniel, how is it going with the, uh, no candy journey? I suppose you uh, probably ate something at, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's sugar free. Maybe. No, no. So you fell off the, the wagon. Oh. Only today and last Saturday. And Saturday. Uh, I have something to celebrate tonight. So, <laughs> yeah, and we'll get into that. Of course, we will. I have put it uh, on the agenda, <laughs> just briefly. But, but that's uh, just a bad excuse to eat candy. It's not. That. Yeah, but that's always. It's <laughs> always like, no, oh, we need to celebrate. Actually, Let's eat candy. It's actually because I have been. I had a crazy, crazy long and busy day. I haven't even uh, looked at the very cute and um, sweet um, messages uh, I got on my private. And uh, I've seen a lot of people have 
write some um, awesome yeah. things. So I haven't got the time. It had been a crazy day. So um, I haven't of even course. got a uh, breakfast. So uh, dinner, sorry. So I'm <laughs> drinking <laughs> <a> breakfast. <laughs> Actually, I haven't got dinner, uh, breakfast either. So I'm drinking a protein, strawberry and raspberry mm -hmm. drink and uh, some candy. But um, after this, fair. we'll eat some rupert. Some rye bread. Yeah, good idea. What are you drinking today, Kim? Are you? Uh, did you bring anything? Um, some. Oh lemon. yeah, the Nornia. The cheap one. Yeah, they also make one with uh, apricot and orange. Which, yeah, it's uh, pretty good as well. It's good, but anyway, the reason I also asked Daniel is because uh, I I told you I was gonna do it at some point as well, and I have actually been. Uh, been more healthy this week i haven't uh, snacked uh, monday tuesday wednesday so well uh, done well done well done so yeah and i weighed myself this morning and uh, i haven't done that for two months and uh, yeah i'm i'm almost at 115 kilos and i 50 am 50 or 15 15 no not 50 then i would <laughs> never get out of the chair 15 but still i'm i'm only uh, like uh, 179 centimeters i'm i'm not the tallest guy so i'm i have uh, my big belly ready for christmas but that's way too early for that when i'm so, uh when i'm at my skinniest back when i was in 2017 i was very thin and i was still weighed more than 100 kilo so, yeah but you are a very tall guy so yeah. that's that's totally fair Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I'll I'll just talk about it for like 20 seconds every time. So uh, I'll let you know how everything's going if I'm losing weight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to. And then, uh, Kim, for one thing I want to follow up with uh, you. Yeah. Uh, you showed us the uh, Domle gingerbread edition <laughs> last time. Yeah, and I know strange. you've tasted them. So we need a mini review of those. Yeah, don't, don't recommend. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they weren't horrible, but they certainly weren't good either. Okay. They Did were, it taste like either, ginger or Christmas uh, no. cake? Yeah, just more like you know the yeah the gingerbread the brown cake. Uh, mm. It was um, it was an experience. Uh, they were edible, but nothing to write home about. <laughs> no. So two out of ten. Do not recommend. <laughs> um, <laughs> four out of ten. Oh, four out of ten. Okay. So if you don't have anything else and you're desperate, it's still yeah. I mean, when I'm desperate, I eat um, <laughs> what is it called? Roasted onion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so if you're like roaming the house looking for snacks and there's nothing, wow. <laughs> I tried that. And actually, okay. one time I uh, uh, was eating a health, uh, a medicine kind of thing. It's called strepsil. And you eat it if, if uh, you are, uh, it's a, yeah. uh, it's a like if you hard have a sore, candy. Sore it's a hard candy, and if you have the hard time in your throat, you will take those. And they are very kind of citrus with honey taste. So one time I was very desperate that I uh, eat a whole package. <laughs> it's not no. good. No, <laughs> your stomach must have been so destroyed. Yeah, and I think on the pack it says you only can take two every. No, I think it was one every second hour or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh they're like God. super expensive as well. Yeah, it's I was like... desperate. Yeah, it was the only <laughs> thing I had in the. Oh, well, I I don't think I've ever been that desperate. But the, the it, it's there's a one of the good things about having uh, kids is that uh, usually you have uh, some kind of candy that's meant for the kids. So like gummy bears or a small package of Smarties uh, or, or something like that. And then if you get really desperate because they don't know how much is in store. And also now it's just been Easter and they got these incredibly huge chocolate uh, chocolate eggs. And as a responsible parent, I can't let them eat all of that, of course. So uh, of course. I had to help them when they, when they were sleeping. It was like, well, <laughs> let's see what we have. Yeah, but that's that's all in the past now. Time to to lose the weight and get back in in shape. 2020 shape. Uh, and then for the final thing, before we get into uh, what we've been playing, I will uh, read the comments because there is something that's relevant for what I want to get straight into. Uh, yeah, and Anna said hi. Anna says hello, and uh, Kevin says congrats with the nomination on the game award, and that is what I want to talk 
about right now, Daniel. Congratulations. <laughs> that is insane. Will you, uh, can you just uh, like briefly tell us uh, like the backstory and what you've been nominated for? Uh, yeah. For the people who don't know. So it's the Danish Game Awards. I actually not sure what it's about, <laughs> but I think it's a awesome thing to get nominated to oh, Game sure. Awards. Um, I don't know what I'm against, what I'm up against, but it's, uh, I'm nominated for the best moment, gaming moment. So uh, that's pretty exciting. I haven't looked at what I'm up against. Uh, as I told you, I have a busy day. Um, but um, last day, uh, Tom ben Thomas Spencer, the man from Pixel TV. If you are from outside of Denmark, uh, Pixel TV is a Danish website and YouTube channel that makes reviews. And uh, it's the guy that I was in Danish television where I was talking about Settle Tears of the Kingdom. You can check that out on the YouTube channel. So um, he was writing to me last day and uh, was asking about my email address. And I was like, sure. <laughs> um, but I didn't know what he was supposed to do with it. <laughs> I was thinking maybe he will want me on Pixel TV now because I have been waiting for that. I don't know why he hasn't wrote yet. Um, <laughs> I think I'm 1,000% better than, than all the other people on the Pixel TV. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I understand why they are on and not me. But uh, who cares? So, um, yeah. It's nice so, to be humble, Daniel. You know, yeah. it's very, it's Hopefully he'll see this, guy. take it as an audition. Yeah, I mean, maybe this, uh, you're, you're going to win this and it's going to be another spike. In, uh... Yeah, but um, yeah, I think the reason why he asked me for the email address was because today I got a email from the Danish Game Awards that told me that I was nominated for uh, the best gaming moment. And um, that moment is when I made my live reaction <laughs> of uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So uh, if you haven't watched it, I think you have the people who are uh, subscribed to the channel because I think 90% of the, all the people are people that have seen that video. So um, but yeah. I think that there could yeah. be like two people who uh, listens to the audio version who, uh, who Maybe. hasn't seen it. So Maybe. So yeah, so uh, if you know me just a little bit, I was very nervous about Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I thought that the Silla team was uh, did a weird market uh, market nay, campaign. What is it called? Market yeah, marketing campaign. campaign. Yeah, yeah, marketing yeah. campaign of the game. I think the trailers was uh, very laggy in content showing. Uh, I think it was the same thing we saw all over again and again. I was like, why are we up in the sky? Do we play a Zelda? Is there dungeons? <laughs> uh, how huge is the game? And things like that. Um, and then we got the Ayanuma play uh, gameplay video, and I was so angry. I <laughs> I normally I normally don't I normally don't delete my videos, but I actually deleted that live reaction video of uh, Anuma playing the game because I was so pissed. Wow! I was like, why are we seeing this? I need to know what the game is about. I don't care about the things you're showing. And that was the most disliked video I had done. <laughs> people, people was just disliking bombing it. I think it had 20% uh, likes and all the others was dislikes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I was very angry. So I was like, yeah, maybe I was too hard on it. And um, But the reason why the impact on the last Silver Tears of the Kingdom trailer was so, was so huge for me was because it was showing the things I needed to see before I could get... I, I was actually at the moment where I was like, I don't really want to play Silver Tears of the Kingdom if they can't show me why I should play it. I'm like, I'm so angry at the game at that moment. But then uh, I saw the trailer and I was like, finally, that was the trailer I was waiting for. And I was so hyped. And um, But yeah, and it ended up being one of our favorite games of all time. So yeah, that's a huge thing. Yeah, I don't know if they meant to do it that way, if they were just trying to... I still like think hide, it was a weird. A lot of no. information, and I still then think got... it was weird. Yeah. I, I, they still made a weird uh, yeah. showing off with the game, and um, it was yeah, it was a good last trailer. But I think in some way, maybe there was like we need to have that trailer before people <laughs> yeah. will buy the game because, because it's, it's kind of I been wasn't a disaster the only, so far. <laughs> I wasn't the only man who was uh, disappointing about the things they were showing. Uh, I could see that on the internet. So yeah, but. Um, 
I think it was funny because the video reaction was in Danish, and a lot of people outside from Denmark was like, "I don't know what he's saying, but <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. everything. Yeah, I feel it and things, yeah. things, things like that." So um, actually, that video was the reason why I turned the the Nintendo talk over to the P Wing and made it in English. So uh, even though it's not a lot of English talking people that are in the live chat or commentating my videos, I can still see that around. 20% of all views we get is from outside of Denmark. Yeah. So um, that's pretty good. So the yeah. reason why the views haven't grown that much is because a lot of Danish people have moved away from the channel uh, because I don't know why. <laughs> they are angry <laughs> that we don't talk <laughs> Danish. Stupid English. About that? Yeah, man. I don't understand <laughs> English. What the fuck is going on? I think it's so bad at English. You can't do, uh, pronounce every word. I, I, I don't understand. I, I just, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> if you're one of the people who are turning away because I'm talking English, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, you're on fire today, Daniel. I love it. I love it. It's the candy. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the sugar. Yeah, sugar on an empty stomach. So it goes <laughs> right into the bloodstream. It's perfect. Uh, but yeah, one thing you didn't mention. I, I know you're a big. Uh, you're like a big uh, music guy. The music of of uh, games and whatever mean a lot to you. And that was also one of the things they. I mean, they really nailed it in that trailer with mm, the the saxophone. Uh, we all, we, yeah, we all thought it was a saxophone, but I, I actually think it's some kind of weird Japanese instrument. I'm not sure, <laughs> but it sounded amazing either way. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it gave you, it went viral and a lot of people saw it. You got a lot of subscribers. It helped you to be able to monetize, uh, the P wing as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you, yeah, as you said, you got on Danish uh, national television to talk about it actually. And, uh, yeah, that video, and I think you put subtitles on that on your channel, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, even though you speak Danish, people can still, uh, see what's going on. Uh, and yeah. That was uh, it was really nice, but that, that was like in what was that March, April last year? So it's a year ago. So now it's all it's all surfacing again because uh, it's, it's crazy that to think about that. Yeah, so the Tears of the Kingdom is almost a year old. Yeah, I actually I I thought about uh, I don't know maybe someone from uh, Nintendo Talk have uh, been nominating nominating you because. Uh, you know, I thought about uh, doing it, and uh, because you know, I, I'll get into that later because there's hap something has happened in my life, so I have been distracted, uh, so I didn't get to do it before the deadline. But uh, someone else had, and I actually I wanted to. I don't know how it for. No, I, I, I think it was just like an open open nomination, so everybody could just send in a nomination, and I wanted to nominate you for like best uh, gaming YouTuber. I thought it was something like that uh i hadn't even thought about that yeah of course you had this moment because it was a year ago so it's really nice that uh, someone remembered i think uh, it's thomas for... spencer it, it yeah it could be if he is on the jury because yeah he was i don't think uh, i get a lot of votes but uh, i think i i think tom spencer uh, like, we'll see. I, 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 mean... I, I think tom spencer liked me and i actually yeah. like tom spencer too i think that tom spencer had got a lot of slack um on his side uh, at the moment I, I think it's getting too crazy at the moment but um i think he's a nice guy and um yeah, yeah. we are following each other on the facebook and on instagram and yeah he looks like a cool guy and every time i talk to him he's very sweet and he loves his family and children I, and i appreciate things like that so um yeah. of course everyone has some weird ways to control the channel or the website and things like that but uh, but I, 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 I still think he's a cool guy. And um, at the start, beginning, when I saw I got the email, I thought actually it was because of my Jump King um, way to do the ultimate challenge. <laughs> because I was like, <laughs> is that the reason I nominated? Because I was like, oh, it's a long time since I made the the yeah, Silver exactly. Chairs of the Kingdom it's reaction. Been a year. Yeah. So they really so, need but... some links in there. In the yeah, form, though, because, because to to be I, honest, yeah, I, I voted for you, Daniel, but, but I haven't seen any of the other four. They should have, uh, they should have, like, yeah, put up some links or something so you could see what what oh, you were voting for. Actually. Okay, so people can see what I'm. They'll have to actively search it out. Okay, yeah. that's weird because yeah. it's just it's like Kinda. a uh, it's like a a Google Google <laughs> <laughs> a, a Google uh, Google form. <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome to Google. Uh, just Google it. No, uh, it's a Google form. And it's just like you have the categories and the five nominees. Uh, and it says, uh, you're on top of the list, actually, unless it randomizes each time. But it says, uh, like, the P-Wing uh, um, in tears over Zelda or something like that. Uh, but there's no link to the video or anything. So, yeah, people will have to to look that up. But just for anyone in uh, in Denmark, I shared the link in uh, the Nintendo Talk Facebook group. But uh, you can go to the Danish Game Award uh, website and you can go and, and vote. And uh, you can, if you don't know anything about the other categories, uh, you can vote vote just for the category Daniel is uh, is nominated in. So yeah, I urge you to do that because Denmark is it's a fairly small country. You never know, like if you get some traction and how many votes do you need to win? Yeah, I mean you don't really know. So I really urge everyone to to vote because uh, I think it could make make a difference and uh, and actually give Daniel a chance to win. Uh, which would be incredible. That's what I, I said it on Nintendo Talk. I, I want to put on my resume that I do a, a podcast with a, with an award winning uh, YouTuber. So uh, so yeah, I, I I really hope you win. I will yeah, not, but awesome. I will not. No, but no, I'm but I'm glad that I'm nominated. Still, yeah, yeah, a good thing. And maybe you can maybe you could get some subscribers. So are you gonna show up? Uh, I'm not sure on, yet. On the day, no. I haven't talked with my wife yet about no. it. That's logistics it's and, a crazy and everything, day. family time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, before we talk about what we've we've been playing, I think we should take some uh, some comments. Uh, let me just see it here. I really shouldn't use my. Oh, so yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so Anna says, "Domle had a three Christmas flavors. It was really good. So a candy cane, peppermint. Oh yeah, peppermint chocolate. Mm. It's very nice." And uh, gingerbread and brownie. But brownies, that's uh, just just kind of like extra chocolate. Hmm. I don't know. The brownie sounds good. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm more in it for the, the mint one. No, I'll take the brownie as well. Okay. I'm not the biggest fan of mint. I like after eight, but that's it. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Well. Mint ice cream. I love that. With a huge <laughs> yeah. chocolate uh, chunk on. Mm. Mm. And uh, Anna says, you don't need Pixel TV. They need you much more than you need them. Very nice of you, Anna. <laughs> but yeah, they have a huge platform. And that's yeah, why that's I need the them. thing. That's the thing. So even if you are 10 I, times or 100 I, times better. Well... I think, but I, I actually think I'm better than them. But uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but but the reason why I, I actually think my biggest challenge is the lack of big platform. I think it's very difficult to came yeah. come YouTube out. is such a small platform. Yeah, yeah but also on the internet. Uh, um, I don't know a lot of people uh, in the gaming community. And if you know someone who knows someone who knows someone, it's easier to, easier to get around. And the reason why it goes so well for uh, Akal at the moment, a Danish, uh, the biggest uh, gaming thing in Denmark, is because they have the best people on board. And every time they get a new man, they have a link to another person who have a link to another person. So it's just grow and grow and grow. And that's the thing I have a difficult time is to reach out to people. I don't have the the time and I don't have the the courage to do it. So, yeah. Is someone of you clicking with something? I oh, it's probably me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, outside of... Uh this podcast uh, you, i mean you you do the the p wing uh, on your own and what akaden has done also with i think it's uh, hardwire or whatever they did like kind of an an avengers thing where it's just like avengers assemble and they everyone who was like kind of big doing anything they just kept getting people together uh, and, and modern was big modern was big at the beginning all, already so yeah, but I mean, they 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 really put uh, they they really assembled a lot of people. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're doing great. I can, I can, I'm yeah, impressed yeah, by them. I, I'm sure they're doing great. It's uh, I haven't uh, I haven't really listened to the podcast or anything. I I still need to listen to the episode you were on, uh, Daniel. I've uh, been on two. On two. It's just my my problem is I focus just on Nintendo. So if they talk a lot about also PlayStation and Xbox, it's not really my thing. Uh, anyway, uh, Kenneth says, 
with regards to the uh, Tears of the Kingdom reaction, it was just pure emotion. And that you should be nominated, Daniel. I think you read this comment as well. Uh, Daniel should be nominated to best eBay buyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Kenneth also asks, uh, is it just a Kellen uh, who is mad at Benze or are there others? I think I, it's I, a Kellen. Yeah. But oh, that's a difficult thing because they are kind of competing with Pixel TV, aren't they? So I don't know. Aren't they just trying to trash the competition to further their own place in the gaming community? I don't know. Well, yeah, let's not get into that. <laughs> um, and yeah, Kenneth also says Monsters is back. Yeah, but go. still not the gold monster. I can't get the still gold sold monster. Out? Yeah, they are facing it out. You can't get monster energy drink at my store yet more anymore. Oh. So I, I saw have... in, in Rema they had a, a cooler and they have uh, a lot of uh, monster and I saw an entire like golden shiny row from across the store and I was like, okay, they 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 have a lot here at least. And then I went over and it was like the uh, half liter gul tubo. So it was uh, beer. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was not what the... Alexander what Brock I thought it from was. The, one of the subscribers says he think he's facing out the gold monster. Because uh, mm. it's been more difficult to find them. But Anna, she uh, posted me a picture later this day of um, Gold Monster at her local uh, store. So that's good. You can still and find I don't it. understand because just, I mean, the the amount you consume alone should be enough to keep <laughs> that flavor in the market, I think. Yeah. But uh, apparently not. Anyway, that was uh, half an hour of just us saying uh, welcome to the podcast. And uh Business as things. usual. Yeah, business as usual. Uh, so let's uh, get into what we've been playing. It's uh, I think it's been around two and a half weeks since last time. So uh, maybe it, uh, yeah. maybe some of you have had a chance to play some games. Uh, why don't we start with uh, you, Kim? I mean, mine is really boring. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Bellatro still. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been playing some Pokemon White. What? Pokemon? Yeah. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Shock and all. <laughs> uh, and then, I mean, I played some Jump King and uh, uh, Cuphead at the event last Saturday. Oof. So um, I think that's it. Unless I'm missing something, but so do if you want to get into? People... Do we want to get into like Cuphead or, or Jump King? Uh, home, or no, I mean, that just a one both were just like competitions. Uh, we had to see who could get the furthest without falling. And I got somewhere in the in the middle ish region, and uh, Cuphead we just did a bus rush to see who could get furthest. Mm. I never played that game before, but I did beat the first bus and then got completely trashed by the second bus. <laughs> Yeah, I know you played that on stream as well, uh, Daniel. But that was in Danish, right? Yeah. And I, I played that and uh, I struggled through the first world. And then, uh, yeah, I got my ass kicked at the second <laughs> one. And now it's it's on the list of started games that I'm going to get back to. Uh, I, I promised my brother-in-law. We, we will see it later, maybe? Uh, no, it's, it's not on my this here backlog list. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't. I know it's not. It's not on there. But I promised my brother-in-law that I I will get through it eventually. Um, so anything else? Keep. No, uh, what, uh, Pokemon White. White is that the uh, Pokemon White? <laughs> 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 I'm uh, my my. I'm stumbling over the words today. That's good. Yeah. Uh, is are you playing a Nuzlocke or just uh, uh, shiny hunting? I'm breeding? playing a Nuzlocke, but I'm kind of losing a lot of Pokemon, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just continue casually if I lose uh, a couple more. <laughs> it's not going great. Mm. Um, it will be impossible. No, I mean, yeah. And I've still got like four maybe five decent Pokemon on my teams right now, but I would prefer a team of six. But I had some really unlucky crits, and obviously they say to play around those, but sometimes you just get unlucky. Sure, but that's yeah. part of the challenge, I suppose. Yeah, for that sure, for sure. That it's not a sure win every time. No, no, but I will say that bla black and white and the black two and white two is probably the the hardest uh, of the official games to not slack. 
especially the early game, you require a lot of grinding. Um, Maybe that's the to... Pokemon game for Daniel. You like grinding, no. Daniel. Oh, no, I actually sure. did talk, talk with to Dan about uh, that he should play them. Yeah. I think if, about... if he's going to love any Pokemon game, it's going to be white and black. Okay. We'll see if we can get him to try it at some point. Yeah, maybe. Um, what about uh, Bilatero? Have you finished all the, the decks yet? Or uh, I've unlocked on all that? the decks. I think I've won with 11 or 12. How many are there? 15. 15, okay. And I have unlocked... Sorry. I, I think I'm still missing like six jokers or something like that out of 300. But obviously the ones I'm missing are pretty hard to unlock. Mm. Um, so I do want to unlock everything, I think. And like, I don't want to beat 100% because that's just insane. Then you have to beat on the highest difficulty with every Joker. And it's just, yeah, no. <laughs> no. But uh, I, do, I do want to finish uh, the game. And I'm yeah. pretty close, so I'll beat I'll it with make... every deck, right? Yeah, I beat it with uh, once on the highest difficulty, just with one deck. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I've beaten up to the highest. I haven't beaten highest yet, and then uh, I want to win once with every deck, just normal difficulty, and get all the all the jokers if possible. Yeah, and then I think I'm yeah. good, and I think I played that game. <laughs> but you well, got a lot of uh, you got a lot of hours out of got it. Got a lot of miles out of uh, yeah, yeah. twenty bucks. Uh, we'll just take some comments. Uh, Anna says, "I really enjoy Akelen. I must admit, I understand that they are an acquired taste, but I think it's just about getting to know them." Yeah. Uh, Kenneth says, "Agree, Anna. Morden is good to find people with different point of view on the topics." And Anna says. Uh, and she clarifies that she's talking about Pixel TV. Uh, I've heard stories about their leadership and company culture that have been shocking to me. So I don't have a strong affinity with them, I must admit. That's uh, that's not so good. And Kenneth says, Black and White also have a nice endgame. Love that game. Go Reshiram. Hmm. I don't know that Pokemon. That's the, the white one. The legend for legendary one from white or well the legendary one from black, but it is white. Okay, fair enough. You know the so, so is there one in white that is black or yeah. is that kind of uh, black facing or <laughs> mm -hmm. oh that's fine. Uh, no, so... and then um for uh black two and white two this this shifted. So, okay. The one that was the mascot for white is the mascot for black too. Kind of, it's like a fusion thing. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I've never seen Daniel so hype. <laughs> I'm scrolling through <laughs> eBay while we're talking about that's Pokemon. Fine. Uh, we we know that's what what happens yeah. every time. It's fine. Uh, so Mark is also here. He says, "Hey, oh, wonderful Goombas!" And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get uh, Mark to fall asleep today. <laughs> and Kenneth says uh, Sacrum is black and Andreas is also here. Hi Andreas. He says, uh, hey, which one of you is the ghastliest Goomba? Ooh, that's almost like... That's definitely Sonny. Sonny, oh, 100%. Please. Just go back and listen to what you guys masturbate to. I mean, you guys are... That's bad. <laughs> I just have... I don't know I don't know it, but I have a feeling that your... your what is it called when you're making gas out of your ass? <laughs> you, when you fart no farting i think your farting is the baddest smelling farting of those of us three but I think that would your, make your me, smells worse but that would worse. make me the gassiest goomba i don't know but yeah yeah mm -hmm. i mean I one yeah. doesn't uh, exclude the other yeah but yeah i suppose mm -hmm. that uh, i was uh supposed to be the the nasty one of the three of us <laughs> That was what a, the label you put on me. Thank you, guys. That was all Daniel. <laughs> so, I don't know if that answered your question, Andreas, but uh, we all, otherwise we'll have to do uh, like a ranking of that at some point and do like a pros and cons and yeah. Anyway, 
Anna says, I really want to go back to Arceus and uh, finish it. Yeah. I still haven't beaten Arceus, so I actually still, I played like 80 hours. I still have the last little wow, piece. Wow, 80 hours? You didn't beat the yeah, or more. green story, um, or you didn't start beat everything? Uh, no, we, I played it uh, pretty much with my kids exclusively mm. and then a bit on my own. So it's not always so like goal oriented. No, that's fair. It's just, you know, whatever they want to do. Yeah, but we try we try to do like the small side quests, and I think the the one we are at at the moment is uh, where they have these uh, outbreaks, and you need to study the outbreaks of certain types of uh, Pokemon. But we haven't fought uh, Arceus yet, so so we actually still have some some way to go. Yeah, but it's Arceus, like, the Ar 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 Arceus is is post game. He's like the the last. Uh... Yeah, I, I actually. I didn't know I'm he was sure a Pokemon. We, maybe we actually <laughs> saw. I think we we rolled credits actually. Yeah. So we are playing the post game, okay. and I think I think I asked my daughter at that point, like, uh, do you want to play another game or do you want to try to like complete the Pokedex? And she was like, I want to complete the Pokedex. Gotta catch them all. Yeah. So yeah. The, that, that's, that's how you unlock Arceus. Uh, once you have. Complete the Pokedex, you can catch him. That's the very last one. Wow. Okay, then we still have a way to go. We need to we need to be more focused when we play <laughs> it, I think, to, to work towards that goal. Uh anyway, what are they saying in the chat? We what have thing in the chat. Anna wanted to finish Arceus, and then maybe I will get a chance sometime this year. Uh yeah. How far are you, Anna? And Mark says, oh, I will definitely fall asleep at some point. So I think like maybe if every, let's say every 15 minutes, we should just uh, shout as loud as we can <laughs> into our microphones so we can try to keep uh, keep Mark here. And um, I but think Mark... You, you might... misunderstand. It's a good thing that if Mark falls asleep, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, means, I know, I know. that means he have a blast. I know. So yeah, we should try to we should try to get him to it take a nap. He's uh, yeah, comfortable see. with us. It's like a yeah, cat. Exactly. You know? exactly. Yeah, yeah. So he's just lying there purring, yeah, having a good time. <laughs> and Mark also likes the way you described uh, farting, Daniel, <laughs> making gas, making gas out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, Mark also says, "Don't worry, Sonny. The ghastlier, the better." So uh, yeah. I suppose that's a win for me. And uh, <laughs> Penilla from the extended uh, like Ellsberg clan, she's not, uh, she wants, I, I think maybe she wants the Ellsberg last name. I think she wrote something in uh, in the chat at one point, but uh, she is part of the Ellsberg clan still. Uh, I mean, I Penilla. want the Ellsberg last name at this point. Maybe we should just all like <laughs> change our last names to Ellsberg. Is it a protected name? They can just write that in the chat. And otherwise I'll go to uh, Bauer Deco and request a name change <laughs> immediately. <laughs> and uh, Jan Björn is also here and he says uh, grats with the nomination Daniel thank you yeah. Uh, yeah and long sister Silva do we know who that is that's uh, Mark's Spots. girlfriend oh okay so we have one more from the extended Ellsberg uh, family long sister Silva says uh, exactly Daniel that's why he sleeps on date night <laughs> 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 oh that's nice that's so good Anyway, so what have you been playing, Daniel? You have one guess. <laughs> jump King. Um, hmm. Maybe some Jump King? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I play it. nothing else. <laughs> that's it. I, I, actually, I didn't uh, I didn't see you stream last night because we were watching, uh, you know, Love love Where the Birds Are Turning Around, oh, as we call good. it. <laughs> you didn't I, miss I, anything. It's okay. No, you didn't get a new PB. Or no, I, 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 uh, it was a horrible. Let's play last night, but I still had a blast, okay. even though I got a little bit uh, angry at the end because I was playing like shit. So, <laughs> but but the comment section was awesome. The people yeah, were sharing on, on me. Yeah. Uh, so and I gotta say, uh, we have. Do we have fourteen people watching now? I actually think that may be a record for the podcast, not for really? your live stream, but. Yeah, but I feel like we are always like three people or five, <laughs> five Ellsbergs. I don't know, but it's uh, it's a lot of people and I appreciate it so much. Uh, and you just keep bringing in more Ellsbergs. I love it. Uh, and and we're still, we're, we're still missing the leader. 
Niklas. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> we still we need uh, Niklas to to get here. Maybe <laughs> he'll arrive in time. Uh, Andreas says the Ellsberg name is a noble and exclusive lineage. Mm, so maybe we can't all get it. And uh, and yeah, Mark says I don't have any affiliation with this long sister silver person whatsoever. Just saying. So um, someone is pretending to be Mark's girlfriend, maybe. <laughs> Uh, oh, he says, well, maybe a little. So that's good. Uh, but nothing else, Daniel. Did you play any other games at the event? Uh, yeah, we played uh, Jump King because um, I had some... <laughs> any other games? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not Jump King, I was supposed to say. <laughs> it was, it was you just jumping. you have Jump King yeah, on your I mind. Just a jump king. I, yeah. So what do you want for dinner tonight? Hmm, let's see, Jump King? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, Cuphead. <laughs> We played Cuphead and we played the um, the new Zelda games. I oh, got yeah, um, oh the, yeah the Asian Stone Tablets, I think it's called, and the level design. The that, Asian Stone Tablets. A, 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 ancient, the the ancient. And, okay. Yeah, a, inch, how do you say? I it? thought you said Asian. Ancient. A, ancient. Ancient. <laughs> stone oh, tablets. Stone tablet. Oh, Stone Tablets. Very Asian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, uh, sorry, we're, we're gonna get cancelled now. Sorry, guys. The level oh, I mean, design, you are. yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> the level <laughs> design in that game was very basic and uninspired, mm. so it, we, we only played for around 30 uh, five, 15 minutes or something like that, and then we played copy. Uh, we had some... fair, the, hmm? the addition you have is the master quest where it's just like fan made dungeons, yeah, you're right. So, um, but okay. yeah, it is not. not I'm not gonna play it again. But otherwise, <laughs> in that we played, um, yeah, we played Cuphead and of course Jump King, and um, no party played, games. No, anything. no party games. But we had some games. Uh, we have some presents we were stealing out to each other. We had some. I made a. What, I'll stop uh, you, Daniel, yeah? because this is just what we're playing. We will get into the event oh, uh, okay. in depth okay. in just a second. Okay. 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 So yeah. not to not to cut you off, but keep that oh, thought. Okay. We'll get to it in a second. Uh, but it's a good thing you didn't overpay for the Zelda one. You got it fairly cheap from mm. from eBay, I think. Uh, and Penilla says, Daniel is uh, going to fetch something. Uh, Penilla says, real supporters. So that is the all the Ellsbergs. And uh, Snickerless says, I'm named Nicholas. Does that count? Well, that depends. Can you uh, can you get the Ellsbergs to to do your bidding? Then uh, it counts. <laughs> and uh, Brock, that is Alexander, I think. He says, yeah. hello, hello, Alexander. And he asks, we just need to get the... Oh, no. Oh, no. He's, he's dancing <laughs> in his underwear again. Yeah. Happens every time. <laughs> so we need to get him back with his, his uh, headphones. And uh, Daniel Alexander asks, what are you drinking today? You can show it again. And he also says that the Zelda game was not very good. Uh, and yeah, just for the record now, we all we already saw Daniel's uh, underwear. Uh, we haven't made any promises to make uh, this episode rated E. That was the last one. Because the last one was rated E for everyone. Because the one before that was rated uh, M for masturbation. So, but we, we have made no promises today. I think we'll try to keep it somewhere in the middle. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Uh, but yeah, I'll just quickly run, run through what I have been playing, and then we can uh, we can talk in depth about the event. Um, because I haven't I haven't gone deep into any games. I've like played a, just a bit of a lot of games. Uh, we we played uh, a bit more of uh, Webbed, the spider game. I think we we got the the dung and are ready to send it down to the ants. Uh, and then I took a game out of my backlog list that I wanted to start, which is uh, the Banner Saga, but I haven't played a lot of it yet, so I, I'm not going to talk a lot about it. But it's a, it's a, like a tactical uh, turn-based RPG, kind of Fire Emblem-y, but with Vikings. Um, yeah, but I only played a few levels, uh, so uh, I'm, the judgment is still out if whether or not I'll, I'll finish it or not. But uh, actually, I had that one on my backlog list before. I have that one. It's like, I don't have it on my list, but I do have it. But Have you played it? Um, I think I played it, like, briefly, but I hardly remember it. I had some issues where it wouldn't start. I had to reinstall it, and then, mm. yeah, I don't know. Um, 
I don't think yeah. I played enough to have an opinion, at least. No, but uh, it's like they they speak English and they have a, a fair amount of voiceover at least at the beginning, and they try to give them like uh, Scandinavian accents. So it's uh, kind of like listening to this podcast, I think, <laughs> <laughs> just with the. Uh, like more battles and stuff, and uh, I I think as I remember it in in Fire Emblem, you when it's your turn, you get to move uh, all your units, and your enemy moves all their units on their turn. But in the banner the banner saga, it's like you move one of your characters, and then they move one of their characters, mm. and so on and so forth. So that's a bit of a, a different thing. And like if one of your characters gets uh, injured, they will actually be worse. They they won't be able to attack with full force and and stuff. So isn't it a bit more like uh, Heroes of Might and Magic than it is uh, Fire Emblem? Or am I remembering wrong? Mm. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say I haven't played that since the the third one, which is no, way no, back. I'm... But yeah, yeah, I suppose. I suppose yeah, you get these small battlefields and uh, yeah you move one at a time yeah you could say uh then i played a bit of uh picross uh i'm Gosh. playing s s3 at the moment i like to play stuff like that when we are watching like love when love where the birds are turning around <laughs> uh have something in the background and then my son you can I... play games while you're watching yes that. of course i can no that's no true. problem that to, that program is too epic. To did do you watch? Else. Oh, oh uh, did you watch the episode from yesterday? Yeah, it was absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh God, where the the it was I so know you awkward. loved the you, you, yeah you loved the red haired guy. And there was like okay, Kim's tangent background. Is here. <laughs> so now we know it's a good episode. Uh, but yeah, when he was on the bench with uh, Maria or what's her name, and she was telling him like, eh, I don't really feel like a oh. spark between oh. us, and she I... was like basically telling him I'm not interested. I was and sitting was like, like oh. I was sitting like this, <laughs> and then immediately afterwards, because like he had a thing in mind that he wanted to do before she said that, and he couldn't he couldn't get that out of his head, so he still wanted to do it. He was like, okay, we just uh, talked about the different kinds of love language uh, today. <laughs> And uh, I'm not really so good at that, but uh, like if uh, touch is one of them, so I thought maybe if we touch each other a bit, that could uh, maybe help. So would you mind holding my hand? And she was just looking at him like, dude, did you, <laughs> did you not hear what I just told you? I'm not interested. Oh my God. It was uh, it was aggressively cringe. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, was really good. My wife's uh, former colleague is still in it. And I don't know. I think she could uh, win. It is uh, Reige. She is, uh, yeah, one of the the girls who made the I don't know the glasses guy made him feel like he was a schoolboy. Who is that? Uh, the guy? No. What did you say? Did you know uh, the Reke. girl? Yeah, yeah, Reke. That's my wife's uh, former colleague. The the little the girl who was a little bit older than the others. Mm, I'm the... not sure she's that old. No, is she the has like brown, brown hair. Oh, the brown hair. Okay, the brown. Yeah, hair. the the red hair is a little bit older. Yeah, let's see what they say. I I can't stand the guy with the glasses. No, he's he like a also, he's like yeah. a little uh, Chihuahua dog. And he was also yesterday. He was like, uh, "Oh, I'm so confident when I'm in the kitchen. I know what I'm doing, and I'm just I'm so good at cooking." And then uh, at least one of the girls. Uh, maybe like, maybe oh, we shouldn't talk sick. about the program anymore. <laughs> 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 Just uh, for the people's. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Uh, yeah, long sister silver. We'll talk about the delicious cereal in a bit. I'm also very curious about that. And Andreas says, "Are you also a fan of Love, Where the Birds Are Turning Around, Sunny?" Well, fan and fan, but uh, I'm having fun. <laughs> Penilla says, "I was crying." I think that's the. Yeah, the bench moment. <laughs> Andreas says that shit was cringe. I have no clue why that girl is in the program. I was really confused because, like, in the program before that, she was like rubbing up against him at the party yeah. and stuff. So I was, yeah. I was totally confused. Yeah. Uh, and Penilla says the most awkward moment. Mm -hmm. Kenneth says the order in Might and Magic is based on speed stats of the different types. Okay. Uh, oof. Andreas says, "Oh no, I don't like Reggae." Lol. Well, no, I, I, sorry, I don't my... like her either. 
I have no affiliation with her. I don't care. She, was she looks so my... angry all the time. Oh, she's not. She's not. I think the red hair, red hair girl, the, the 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 tall one is. She's sweet. Hmm. I hope. And uh, Lasse is also here. He says hello, Lasse, and welcome to the Reality Podcast. Lasse, you know, if you just want to hear us talk about the topic, you don't need to be here before this. It's been like two hours. Don't say that. <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> this is on topic. I feel because we talked about this before, so we need to follow up on it. Anyway, and <laughs> Andreas says that scene was when he was making food for the girls, and then he screwed up, and none of the girls had eaten oh, his food. Yeah. Oh my god! Anyway, my so, son, he, he, I think he, he heard uh, maybe someone at kindergarten talk about Minecraft, so he asked me, "Oh, Dad, can we play some Minecraft?" Um, and I don't have Minecraft on my Switch. I have it. On my PC somewhere, I bought a uh, like uh, and a copy of it when it was in in beta way back. Uh, so, but I knew I had Minecraft uh, dungeons in my Switch collection. So, and my son is three years old; he doesn't know what it's about. So, <laughs> I just said, "Hey, I have this Minecraft game." Uh, so we played that for a bit, uh, and it's like uh, you know your baby's first hack and slash dungeon crawler Diablo like uh, game. Uh, but I actually kind of enjoyed it. It's like a good chill game where you can just you can go in and you can play uh, like a single level, and that will take 10, 20 minutes or whatever. And yeah, get some loot and kill some mobs. And uh, yeah, of course there are like creepers and skeletons and whatever you have in in Minecraft. Uh, I actually enjoyed my time. I, I think my son may drop off, uh, but even if he doesn't want to play it, I may actually play it a bit more on my own. So. Uh, yeah, that was good. And then I finally got the uh, Princess Peach Showtime this weekend that my daughter has been looking forward to a lot. Okay. And we have finished the the first floor, which is uh, like the two stages from the demo and then two more. And mm. you already talked in depth about that, Daniel. But what so, do you uh, think about it? Uh, again, we've only played the first floor, so that's only a few hours and not not a lot more than the demo, but uh, I like the the cowgirl uh, level, the the lasso mechanic. I mean, all the mechanics are fairly basic, but yeah, I, I had a good time with that, uh, and we'll definitely play it more. And my daughter, she loves the fact that you like you get new dresses and you can buy new patterns. Uh, and we finished <laughs> those four levels, and then the first uh, the first boss level as well. Uh, cool. And we just opened the the second floor. So uh, I, I think I'll get back to that maybe next time when when I've played it some more. But uh, I'm not I'm not hating it yet. And we collected everything in those four stages as well. Uh, so we re replayed uh, them like two or three times. And the the criticisms you gave were totally valid. I mean, in in the first we played the um, the sword fighter one, and. It wasn't even that we went through a door and we couldn't go back. It's just I knew that I had to go like to the left and up on top of a, a roof or something and get uh, one of the sparkle gems. Uh, and I just fell over an, an edge that was like a bit too high for Peach to jump back up. So it's like, OK, I, I know it's right up there. Just let me go back. But no, there's no way. So then, you know, you have to play the whole level again and listen to all the dialogue and all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of that part, but uh, we haven't had to replay the levels more than two or three times. So it hasn't been so bad yet. But, uh, but yeah, again, I think when I've played the, more of that game, maybe I'll, I'll talk more about it. Uh, let's see. Then Anna says, wait a minute. Les is laughing. <laughs> Anna says, did you see that Slay the Spire 2 was announced today? Ooh. And Les, oh, she's yeah. not even asking us. Wow. But, uh, did, no, but I'm still come, hyped. Did does any of come, you play the first one? Does it come yes. for, for the Nintendo Switch? I, I don't know. I probably played the first one more than I played Bellatro so far. <laughs> Slayer of Spire is absolutely awesome. Yeah, it's such a good game. I didn't know it will get a second game. That's incredible. That's pretty high, actually. But that is wow. another game that could very easily be on my list. Is because, it on the Nintendo yeah. Switch, Anna? Will Let's it come? Hmm. Uh, and Andreas is a giga mega hype for Slayer of the Spire 2. So, uh, oh, the yeah. first game is so addicted. addictive. Yeah. So, Who's your says, favorite uh, character, Daniel? 
Uh, I can't remember. Sorry. No, that's fair. I really love the guys with the with all the orbs. That was the guy I used. I remember the orbs. <laughs> yeah. The orb guy. Yeah, I don't remember his name, but uh... yeah, uh, yeah your, your What's the orb, the orb guy called in this? The orb guy. Orb. Oh, I need to play that game as well. Let me just change my my list around. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So Lasse says, uh, talk random shit and two hours of backlog. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we still have work tomorrow. So uh, Andreas says, I have 272 hours of Slay the Spire on Steam. And I also played it on my phone for a while. Wow. Uh, favorite character is the green by far. Orb guy is called uh, the defect. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, that was what I've been playing. So now I want to get into the event you had on Saturday, uh, Daniel. Uh, yeah. First, just um, yeah, a little thing because uh, I was supposed to be at that uh, event as well, um, and I already I told you guys this, and I know that everybody were, who was at the event also heard this. Uh, so I I think I'll just give uh, like a tiny update before we we move on, if that's okay. Uh, because yeah, the event was was on Saturday and um, Friday, Friday afternoon, my father-in-law he fell down um, a ladder and he hit like a big freezer or something. He he, yeah, he got severely hurt. He broke nine ribs and he hit his head really hard and he was. Uh, he had some some bleeding as well that they had to monitor and they also operated to remove some bleeding that was on the outside of the brain and there was something inside the brain that they couldn't uh, do anything about um, so they just had to monitor it and and hope that it wouldn't grow bigger because uh, if it did it would probably be over for him um, but luckily it didn't uh, but he has he has sustained like some damage to his brain but we we don't know the extent of it uh, before he wakes up uh, he is still in a coma in in Aarhus and they are slowly taking him like getting him off the coma medicine so he will hopefully wake up within uh, the next week and then we are really like crossing our fingers that uh, like the the damage is maybe Maybe he'll talk funny or I don't know, something that they can work on in, in rehabilitation. But yeah, we don't know uh, before he wakes up. And on the weekend when I was supposed to go to the event as well, we, I mean, we were mentally preparing for a, a funeral. Um, so yeah, and he is, he's 67. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we were not prepared for this. Uh, of course, it was uh, it was horrible. So now we're just waiting, and it's we're just in like in a limbo, and it's really weird. Uh, so obviously, I I couldn't go. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just I just wanted to yeah give a, a little update to the people who heard about it, and uh, yeah. So not not to bring the the mood way down. Now we are we are up because uh, yeah we need we just need to go on as normal and and just wait for him to wake up and and hope for the best. Yeah, there's not really so, else you can do really. No. So, but yeah, that's. Uh, Sorry to hear. Yeah. yeah, it's been it's been a tough five days, but uh, hopefully it it works out in the end. We we hope it's like minor damage that as i said can can be worked on in in rehabilitation so yeah uh yeah and um nss about slay the spire that it will come in early access on pc next year so it will probably be for the next console and uh, mark says uh, shit hoping for the best sonny thank you so much and kenneth sorry to hear sonny best wishes wishes yeah thank you all so much uh, Penile, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Sunny sending prayers for you and your family. And Anna says, that's probably why they didn't announce the switch yet. Yeah, and I, I think they heard that I wasn't in, a, in the mood for an announcement at the moment. So, <laughs> no, I, I know you're talking about Slay the Spire. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to like, yeah, keep uh, a good, good positive attitude and, uh, 
yeah, we need to to also just keep going with our lives. But the the uncertainty is, uh, yeah, that's insane. Just waiting for someone to to yeah, wake up imagine. and not knowing what's going on. So, uh, but anyway, that was why I wasn't uh, at the event, sadly. But uh, I want to hear all about it because I've seen um, some pictures and some uh, video, and uh, it looked like you guys had a blast. So, why don't you uh, talk me through it? Well, it was a horrible night. I hate all the people, and Kim was sleeping at yeah. my place, and I was like, please go home. No, it was <laughs> absolutely incredible. Uh, we had a blast, and uh, we was a lot of people. I think we was around 13 or something like that. And I, the thing I really love is that I think it's so amazing that people that didn't know each other for six years ago seven years ago, around that, since Nintendo Switch, most of us, we didn't know each other. And we are sitting behind our phone and or our television or computer and writing things to each other, nerdy talk about Nintendo stuff and things like that. And we still managed to come together and hang out and talk to each other like we have known each other for <laughs> yeah, seven years even though we yeah we have talked to each other in seven years but we have rarely seen each other and i think it's absolutely amazing and um andreas and uh, panilla uh that are in the chat right now they are like yeah andreas have commented some of my videos before the jump king challenge but yeah he are comments my Zelda videos and uh, music videos and things like that but otherwise uh andreas was known as the unknown Ellsberg brother and uh, Panetta is uh, his girlfriend. So I didn't know anything about Panetta. She was just sharing in the Jump King chat and uh, <laughs> Andreas too. And then they showed up to the event. And I was like, I love those two guys. Uh, so guys, guy, guy and girl. And uh, they are so I funny feel like and guys awesome. Gen gender yeah, neutral. Yeah, you can, see, yeah, yeah, you can say right. guys just yeah. about. And they are like... Uh, All 70 Andreas, Andreas is like Mark and... Uh, and uh, Anne, and uh, very easy to talk with, and very nerdy. And Panetta, she was just sweet and funny. And uh, I was so surprised that even though I don't know <laughs> Panetta that well, she came with uh, this back, and uh, she told me if I clear Tower Two, I I allowed to open the back. I don't know what's inside. You can see it's still sealed. Did so, you uh, did you fondle it a lot? Yeah, it, it, it feels <laughs> very plushy. So um, mm -hmm. that's very tempting that I, I really want to clear tower too. But that's just when you do that for a person like Andreas and Penile, uh, even though we only have talked to each other for around a month or something, I think that's very heartwarming. Um, and uh, Mark in the chat and Anna, they, um, they give me, <laughs> well, one moment. Yeah, sure. They gave me this awesome, awesome Jump King t-shirt. Uh, and uh, a poster. I won't unfold the poster right now because it's very huge yeah. with the Jump King and the three babes. And but I'm I like, saw it on the video. Uh, yeah. It's uh, an amazing and, poster. And, yeah. and, and that was the thing I was dreaming about. I actually didn't know that you couldn't buy it. And <laughs> when people don't do something things like that it's like wow it's so surprising because i'm not the biggest fan of giving present to people unless there is something i want to give them and i'm not the biggest fan to get present unless they surprised me i hate when people come my mom come and here is some underwears and things like that i'm like oh, okay fine <laughs> but when Just people come here fellow yeah, but yeah, <laughs> but when people do something extra to try to find something that they know that you maybe only you will be happy about, not some random guy otherwise, but you, and they have sit down and searching for things to give you. That's 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 friendship on next level, I think. And I'm rarely mm. called people friends and things like that. But I, I, I don't know if they see my, me as a friend. But I really do see them as a friend. And I'm not that type of person that really call people friends for real. I do it sometimes just 
to be nice but yeah i was so surprised and we had a blast and uh, we was laughing and we was eating pizza and uh, yeah i had a good normally I, I said that last night on the jump king stream normally <clears throat> i'm not the biggest fan to be together with people <laughs> i'm very oh. introvert and um when when i'm together with people i often say yeah that's nice but inside i'm feeling like well sometimes if i'm together with my family and other friends and things like that i'm like okay i have a good time now but i can't wait to be alone i can't wait to people go again but last saturday and actually every time i'm together with the people behind the the nintendo talk and the p-wing i was generally have a, having a good time all the time even after the guest was gone and i was only me and kim i still had a fun time so um yeah, Kim was uh, uh, at my home for a sleepover, and uh, <laughs> it was it was very lovely. And next morning, we was talking a little bit about Pokemon, and sadly, I had to go very early, but we still had a little talk. And as soon yeah. as Kim mentioned Pokemon, you were like, "Oh, <laughs> god damn! I, I no. sorry, but uh, yeah, I have uh, I, I really need to." Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're just scrolling through eBay on your phone. No, <laughs> but but the, the thing I'm I'm trying to say is that I'm I'm very humbled that. I have people around me that I see that rarely, but I use so many hours on every fucking day on the internet that are actually thinking about them and talking about them. I'm, my wife haven't met any of you, I think so. But uh, you, Julie, she knows everything about you, everyone, <laughs> because I'm talking about them all the time. If I say Sonny, if I say Kim, she know what I'm talking about. If I say Anna, she know what I'm, who I'm referring to and, and Mark and things like that. Julie, no, Mark is the serial guy, as an example. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that Sonny is the nasty guy. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, but that's that's a big thing. And um, I I've talked about it before, but also when I have gaming experience, especially on the tail and Jump King, these two games are games that I would love even though I was playing by myself, but I loved them even more because of the journey I had with the chat. I, I, if if some, some sometimes I go back and watch my Undertale Let's Play because the the, the Parasite Road, Pacifist Road, sorry, because it was such an amazing journey I had with the chat at that moment. That's one of the best gaming experience I have. And that's because of the people. And that's important to know, uh, to think about sometimes. So yeah, I, I'm very humbled that uh, it was we we could get people together and see each other. And I'm sad that I don't have the space for more people. I have only placed for around 15. So I was like, after two days, yeah, we can't have any more people around. And that's that's a little bit a bad thing to feel because I have said to some people, no, that's not room. But Kim, you was at the place. Yeah, there wasn't was room for any more. It was full <laughs> and it was warm, and uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, it was a good time. So, but yeah, Daniel, you you really need to give uh, yourself uh, a lot of credit uh, for this, I think, because you've really been a driving force behind like making this community uh, that we have. And I know, speaking for myself, and probably for a lot of other people, I I appreciate it. A lot and as i said i'm very sad that i didn't get to go but uh, yeah it's i think even like after having kids i don't have uh, i don't have as as much time to see let's say in quotation marks my real friends anymore as i used to and people have been moving all over the country and so there's a lot of logistics with that but it's like i have a bunch of friends on my phone where and where i can actually talk about the the nerdiest parts of uh, myself because that's the thing if if i'm with the uh, family it's and i just start talking about some nintendo game or whatever maybe it's not everyone who knows what uh, what i'm on about or is is interested uh so yeah you you deserve a lot of credit for having built this community and like been that's a driving true. force between it and you've you've done that for for years daniel even, even before nintendo talk and uh yeah, you deserve a lot of credit, and I appreciate it, and I I think a lot of people really do, and uh, yeah, we want to keep this going. And, and I and I can see thanks to Nintendo Talk, the Facebook community, that people are seeing each other outside of Nintendo Talk. I saw that uh, even though I haven't 
made a reaction on it yet, but I saw that Alexander Brock uh, and I saw Brian is talking about uh, doing something in the near future. Yeah. And that's just awesome that people is like, yeah, I really want to see people in the in the Nintendo Talk community. So, yeah. That's really, really awesome. Uh, I, I got to be there next time. Hopefully yeah, it will be soon. Really do. Uh, let's just take a few comments. Uh, yeah, Anne and uh, Long Sister Silva has some comments with regards to my uh, father-in-law. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much. And Andrea says, uh, spoiler, I won the Jump King challenge and I beat uh, Daniel. <laughs> and Mark says, yeah. that's why it was a horrible night for him. <laughs> <laughs> and Kim says in the chat that uh, even I beat Daniel, at least on my <laughs> second try. <laughs> yeah, Daniel Mark didn't show his skill that night. No, no, <laughs> no. you, 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 no. you uh, are a very good uh, host and let your guests uh, was like have a, have a chance. Oh, it was the alcohol. Okay. <laughs> I actually had a um, hangover the next day, even though I only drink okay. around four beers, I think. But I'm I'm a pussy to drink beer. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's called uh, getting old. Yeah. Uh, and Mark says, it was a wonderful event. Thanks so much for hosting, Daniel. And Andrea says, thanks for the kind, kind words, Daniel. Uh, Kenneth says, I hope to meet all of you one day. Uh, glad you have a great event. Of course, Kenneth uh this is uh, this is not going to be the last event i know that yeah. that much and penilla says you are very easy to like daniel can't handle all the sweetness thanks for the kind <laughs> words seeing so much forward uh for you to open my present everyone at yeah. the event was so nice everyone mm. oh, are you uh, sure uh, and i got this little one from uh anas yeah, wasn't it's there cute. a single asshole at the event? Be honest, guys. Who was the uh, asshole at the event? <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, was Daniel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark no, says, I'm... everybody was super nice. Oh, that's good. And the Gris. Gris. Ah, the Gris collector. Yeah. The Gris. The Gris. Uh, Gris, Gris. Yeah. Mark Gris. says, I'm known to Julie as the guy with only bad influences on you. Right, Daniel? <laughs> yeah. Every Anna time says... I buy a collector edition, it's yeah, like, it's, it's... oh, it's Mark again. Yeah, <laughs> I actually uh, I have a few games on the way. I, I think maybe they'll arrive tomorrow, which uh, mm -hmm. I'll definitely blame uh, Mark for for uh, getting. I have uh, two premium edition games on the way. Mm -hmm. And Anna says, "Oh, to be listed in Daniel's phone as serial guy. What an <laughs> honor, Mark." <laughs> and Andrea says, "I'm now the slightly concealed brother." <laughs> Whoa, okay, we have uh, Nasro 2DZ. Hi, everyone from Algeria. Ooh, Hello, yeah. Nasro. And I'm actually not sure podcast. where that country is. That, that's in, in, uh, in Africa. Africa. Yeah. South Africa. Algeria. That's oh, crazy. I think that's... North Africa. Yeah, I would no, say. North Africa. Okay, that's awesome. Welcome. I'm not Welcome. sure exactly where, but I think it's not that far from Spain. Hmm. Interesting. And Andrea says, I call to uh, Nasro, uh, to DZ, uh, a collective hello from Denmark. And Anna says, I hope you go next time, Kenneth. Penelope says, uh, no asshole. I, I, I guess she's saying there weren't any assholes at the event. Uh, I was the loser of that game and won a present too. Haha, <laughs> that's enough for me. <laughs> uh, and Mark says, by the way, thanks for the blasp uh, blasphemous collector's edition. It was so nice of you to let me swap <laughs> it for the fake one I brought. <laughs> Classic Mark. I'm, I'm actually checking now. Yeah. I actually, I have uh, with our, our mutual friends, Kim... Um, that we have we have a board game uh, it's uh, the uh, danish name is uh, dream date and it's a very horrible game and we played it one uh, valentine's day uh, several years ago at the uh, board game cafe in aarhus uh, and then i stumbled upon it at like a, a thrift store like uh, where you can get whatever people have been throwing out and i bought it for five kroner or something uh, and i can't remember actually the first time i gave it to to uh, the, these couple of friends we have uh, I don't know if they want to be mentioned on the podcast so I'll, I'll not mention the, the names uh, and we have we've just uh, ever since we've been giving it like back and forth sneaking it into uh, each other's uh, houses and 
Yeah, I don't think they listen to this, so I can't say it because last time they were here, they actually snuck it in my game room. They hid it uh, underneath a big collector's edition. I, I didn't uh, see it until like a few days later, but I haven't said anything to her. So I'm actually, I'm pretending that I haven't noticed. And then next time when we visit, I will, you know, I'll sneak it back mm. into the house. So don't don't tell them anything, Kim. I'm I blaming you if she knows. <laughs> she actually mentioned that uh, last time I was, I was visiting them that you don't really pay attention to your collectors because yeah. you haven't said anything. Uh, but that's part of my master plan. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Kenneth says, uh, thanks, Anne. We'll try to be at the event. Andrea says, I just want to put this out there. Uh, Jack Lund is a legend. Where are you at, Jack? Probably playing Eastward. Wow. Yeah, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very happy guy. Andreas gave uh, Jack the Eastward. Okay. <laughs> and Mark says, serial guy sounds like the craziest serial killer wannabe. And Kenneth says, Algeria is close to Morocco. But what is Morocco? For? Jesus Christ, Daniel. Penilla says, don't shake it apart. You have to be patient. <laughs> I'm, I'm not it's like patient. a kid on I, Christmas. Um, mm. Yeah, where were we? Anyway, now I took a lot of comments. I think uh, you, were talking, you were talking about the event still. I think we were. Uh, that you had fun? Yeah. And everything was. Yeah. It was a good time. Did you, sure. did you sleep well on the couch? I don't think uh, I asked. I mean, could have been better, but uh, I did sleep at least. <laughs> but not yeah, in the I beginning. Was fine. Uh, I know pe people enjoyed your comment, uh, Kim, because uh, <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, you made a post on the Facebook group where you were saying, "Okay, everybody left, and we had an amazing time." And now Kim is uh, sleeping on the on my couch, was... and I want to open my Greek collector. And like the first comment was Kim, like, "I'm not sleeping at all." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great comment. Yeah. totally dry comment and yeah then, yeah and that no i'm funny. not sleeping what are you talking about <laughs> yeah that was hilarious no, he was come just... a, yeah he come in on uh, into my bathroom afterwards and saw my grace collector that was <laughs> i think he was wearing underwear is, and i was is that a euphemism what maybe is that a euphemism you want to come in and see my greek collector mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i'm not saying anything <laughs> uh anyway uh so it's also close to tunisia and spain yeah uh, Andreas asks, did the couch smell of smell? <laughs> I have, I, I put in like a German, <laughs> German accent sometimes. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> did the couch smell, smell? I can't do it. Smell of sweat and or monster cube. Yeah, both. both. Maybe those, both. I can't really so, distinguish the two. But, uh... Monster sweat and cum. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was very ghastly of me. Uh, but yeah, if you don't have uh, anything else with the event, then uh, we're almost ready to talk about the <laughs> backlog topic. <laughs> and I says, I think maybe Daniel was the gris in the room uh, that morning. So for anyone from Algeria or elsewhere, uh, gris is uh, like if you read it in, in Danish, it's the Danish word for pig. So yeah. And Mark says, Schmel sehr gut, ja. Vanilla says, I'm not telling you anything, Daniel, but we have a problem if you don't clear Tower 2 before your time off with Bertram. <laughs> so you have a, a deadline. Yeah. But calling for last night, it's yeah. looks but it's pretty. It's, it's scientifically good. proven that you do better when Sunny is in chat. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'll try to be there next time. I will. Uh, one final uh, tangent before we go to the backlog, because this is also a topic we touched upon, so I just need uh, the closing comments on that. Uh, Daniel, did you watch the X Factor final? Yeah. What about you, Kim? <laughs> no. No. Okay. What did you think, Daniel? Uh, I think it was the right winner, but I didn't like the winner song. I like the uh, the Nick and Jay Nick 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 and Jay yeah I suppose in the yeah, yeah that's a but, had but I, I must better, admit I but, think it was a bad year it was yeah for sure uh, yeah I just wanted to know if uh, what you felt about the the winner I I mean she, she sang was, best she was the best yeah thing. she but she was it was she was also like fairly 
mm, what should you say plain not not too rememberable uh, what are you memorable is what you call it um so yeah i, I probably wouldn't pay for a ticket to i think to she's an artist that you will forget after some months yeah and i actually i don't think she's uh i think she said that she wants to go back to just working as a teacher now uh, she's not going to pursue a career in music uh, at least not immediately so uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, but i think we should actually try to get into to i can't remember her name topic again it was uh helene funk mm. yeah but yeah i like the this i think if 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 i was at uh, like a festival and they were just on the the schedule and they were going to play on a stage and i and i didn't have any other concert to go to i would rather go to a concert with uh, selmani than with uh, helena Funk. Yeah. but i think they, they could make like a party so, but yeah. next month we will get the aerovision i'm yeah. hyped for that <laughs> We'll see if we if we do like an episode uh, just only about or Eurovision or whatever. Yeah, we we'll probably go on a Eurovision uh, tangent at that mm. point. Mm. Uh, so yeah, Kenneth me. says uh, the German. <laughs> no, no, keep. You need to watch <laughs> the semifinals and the final so you know what we're talking about. <laughs> no, it's not for not for everyone. Uh, Kenneth says the backlog will always be in the backlog. No, because we're gonna get to it right away. Does anyone does anyone need to uh, like go pee or anything before we uh, we get into it? Maybe I should. No, <laughs> <laughs> let's just go for it. Uh, anyway, uh, last time we talked, we we uh, started this whole uh, backlog topic, and we uh, we talked a lot about what a backlog means to us. And which uh, song yeah. do you best like in? From the, oh, oh, no. yeah, First, I knew it as just soon kidding. as I saw the comment. Kidding. As soon as I saw the comment, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know uh, that Anna she waits to the semi final begins to listen to the songs. Yeah, in the I world. haven't listened to any of them, uh, only the, the Danish one. I, I don't, but, I, I don't think Denmark will come to the final. I'm okay with that. Eurovision Song Contest is a celebration to all the European countries and Australia for some reason, but I'm okay with it. Um, yeah. Okay, Maybe... I haven't heard any, and either. So, no spoilers, yeah. No, me neither. I, I usually, <laughs> <laughs> I usually skip the the semi finals, but no, usually, that's a part I may of actually, it. Yeah, but it, it, I'm an old guy, and that wasn't a thing when I was a kid. You had the final, and you hadn't heard any of the songs before. So I, I've always, I've always like held on to that. So I don't listen to any of the songs uh, beforehand. So, so you and, don't. But I may see... watch the semi-final t- just to get like the crazy countries this time. So you don't see Christmas calendar before Christmas. No. It's the same thing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. Well, not like not before the Christmas month because you have an no, episode. No, no, be- before you, but, Christmas. Before no, Christmas. that's it's the build up oh. to the Christmas. But they didn't have that when I was a kid, Daniel. I'm just telling you, it was one episode, and you had to have uh, like a specific uh, number at the end of your phone number if you even were allowed. It's to like when call people and don't vote. hyping up for the Nintendo Direct. The the journey from it gets gets no not. It's actually before it gets announced. The journey when the rumors start to the to it get announced, the Nintendo Direct, up till it gets shown, <laughs> is a part of the Nintendo Direct journey, right, Anna? Yeah, I know Anna is, is on me on that. <laughs> yeah, That's Sweden the... was good last year. I actually liked the Swedish song last year. That was the was that the yeah that I know it. That's the yeah. Anna, she liked the Finland, but I actually, yeah, that was the, I remember Anna and the, me is writing to each other every time Eurovision <laughs> is on, and the, the Finland was a very crazy song with the the man that was the little guy, but uh, yeah, I like that, but uh, I think actually the Swedish, the Sweden song last year was pretty good too. It's the same girl from that made the uh, Euphoria, I think. Yeah, yeah, Loreen. So, what is your favorite Eurovision song of all time? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just no, kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. Fly on the wings of love. <laughs> I love that actually actually answer. <laughs> I like Emily Forrest. The yeah, especially the good. flute. I like Peter Kerr. 
Yeah. And I, I actually like... Uh, I like... Uh, I actually like this one. Jeg tænder på dig. Jeg tænder på os to. Og noget, jeg ikke tør sige. Jeg drømmer om dig. Dagerne. Jeg drømmer om os to. Min sjæl er så besat. Kan ikke yeah, finde dine ord. Okay, Dan, shut it. We're, we're gonna get like a copyright strike. We're gonna oh, get a copyright strike. Right on that. Right you on need that. to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we have some uh, Lordy hype as well. That was the uh, yeah, Lordy, that heavy, was good. heavy metal with the mask. They, they actually and, uh, won. They won. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, I, think I think that was they, the last time I they introduced the jury after that because they weren't happy that they won. <laughs> so yeah, now they're talking, or at least Anna and Kenneth is talking about Eurovision uh, in the chat. So uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, let's see. Anna loves uh, Dansevisen, and she is living for this reenactment of uh, Jeg tænker på dig. And, uh, it's Peter like I'm talking also. to you in English. I'm talking to you through I'm, I'm my heart. You. No, I think you say I'm, I'm talking oh, to I'm, you. I'm, I don't know. Like I don't. I don't think I heard the song in English. Okay, I, I think oh, you say I'm nice. talking to you through my heart. I'm talking to you, girl. Girl, girl. It's all the pillows that are on my bed, and it's a big one as well. We almost won two years in a row. Uh, Peter, right. Peter, we, we come on the second place. Yeah, in Copenhagen. Yeah, Peter says, uh, "Hey, uh, Daniel," and Andreas says, "Hey, Peter, uh, you could be the new Johnny Reimer, Daniel. You just Thank need you. a mustache." Thank you. Oh, Thomas Benson is in the chat. Fire! Yeah, this is. I think this is a Eurovision uh, thing. It just went uh, viral. Uh, Good to Jonathan see you, Thomas. Says hi, Daniel, and uh, yeah, Thomas uh, Benson is here. The hair is medically do diggly. <laughs> That was it's uh, a weird yeah. moment to come into the chat and we are singing <laughs> Eurovision songs. Welcome to this Nintendo podcast He's where we talk about Eurovision to, uh, song content. That yeah. is not the weirdest moment we have. No, no. I already sadly. know that. Le- what do you mean, sadly? I already know that Lasse mm. tomorrow will post something weird on the Nintendo <laughs> Talk group that we are talking yeah, about yeah, Eurovision yeah. for around 10 minutes. <laughs> That's totally fine. So, anyway, should we get back to back to the backlog? I mean, hey, Jonathan, started it. at least. <laughs> yeah, I, I started to talk about it, but then uh, we got on another detour. Uh, but yeah, we talked about like backlogs in general, and uh, if we maintain one actively or how we relate to that, you can go back to the last episode and uh, and listen to that if you want the the lead up to to this part, uh, because we just there was just one point missing from the the backlog talk and we're gonna do that now which is uh we try to choose some uh, specific games that we consider uh, like in our backlog and that we want to to play uh, before the super switch arrives so that was kind of the the point i said that last time as well that uh, if we all can agree on that the the next uh hardware from Nintendo will be out between, let's say, September and March. Next year, we have uh, almost a year to clear out our backlog, and maybe we won't I'm, get I'm, the biggest... I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat a little mm-hmm. bit, because if we are talking about games we are going to play through this year, it's only Jump King. So I'm cheating a little bit. <laughs> mm, I mean, just before the release of the next one. But yeah, if you get the time. But I, I know you are deep in Jump King with the note. Yeah, no I, I, I will play... And when you do, after years. you... I will yeah, play yeah. Thousand Years Door when it comes out and play through the whole summer. And I will take a break, of course, at that moment. And then I come back in the fall. And I think I will start on Jump King Tower 3, hopefully, if I clear Tower 2. So yeah. uh, that's and then my after plan. The tower, after Tower 3, you need to do like a complete run where you do all three towers in a <laughs> well, row with zero no. falls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, think yes. that's hap- I, I actually don't think anyone that, have done that. That could be a world first, yeah. I think. I'm pretty Challenge sure some, somebody it. must have done that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but anyway, so we tried to to pick out some games that we, if we get the time, we will try to play before the arrival of the Super Switch. Um, and we have a list. And yeah, now I had technical issues before we started, so I didn't actually uh, find 
Any trailers? I don't know if you guys have any trailers uh, prepared. Or no, I mean, but, I, but other, otherwise I'm we just talk about it. That's that's fine. Uh, I think I will show some something. Yeah, I'll probably that's show totally some, fun. but not for all. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll talk about the the games we we chose and uh, why we chose them. And I know Daniel, you said you would also have a lot of uh, questions with regards to that. But uh, I think maybe you could uh, start us off, Daniel, with uh, your first game that you uh, chose to put on this list. Yeah, um, and that's actually a little funny thing because this game has actually been on my. Um, I have talked about it a lot of times on the hidden gems and things like that, uh, games you have to play. And I actually put it over on my top 25 best Switch games I've ever played. But I have actually never completed it. And the game I'm talking about is a uh, Crush Code. Mm. So you have probably heard me talk about that. I bought the collector edition through a live stream. And before I talked about it, I, I will show you a little trailer of the game so you can see what kind of game it is I'm talking about. But is, so, is that the one that you have started four times then? Or Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised you, you haven't that beaten last it. Time. Yeah, it's surprising, yeah. But I, I will tell you why. But uh, let's see the trailer then. Let's see. Oh, with oh, yeah, okay, Hectic uh, editing at some points. Yeah, I also bought the collector's edition of this. I need to play it as well. What? Was that flying flying animals? <laughs> like they got a propeller on their back. The, the graphic reminds me of uh, Golden Sun and uh, Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so um, I, I gotta think... say for the Daniel for the uh, for the listeners, I think we need to do these maybe without audio and then talk over the trailer. Oh yeah, good idea. Actually, that's a good idea. Good idea. Because okay. if we do this uh, twenty five times, it's gonna be a lot of silence <laughs> for the people listening. Well, um, Crush Code is an absolutely amazing game, and I don't think actually I, I haven't seen the trailer before I show it, and I don't think the trailer actually shows how good the game is. It was more a lot of chaotic uh, clips. It's a very slowly chill kind of game where you are moving around in this or not. You are a girl in a cyberspace world. So could you imagine that we are living in our world as we are living in? And uh, keep is going to school. He's stuttering, and uh, I am I'm uh, at work. And let's play with. Let's. Um, I, I have a hard time in my real life, and I don't have any friends. It go bad at work. I don't have any girlfriend. Uh, I'm hating my life. I have blah 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 and things like that. And then I come home from work, and I can put my little mask on, and come into the other world, the cross cold world, and that's. The story about the game is that you have the characters in the game that have a real life outside of the game you're playing so they know mm. they are inside a game it's like ready player one if you have yeah. seen that movie and um there's a mystery uh, uh, behind one of the characters so you are playing as the girl as you saw the blue haired girl and she has a, a, a another girl she meeting in the world that she talks to and um the girl you're playing has amnesia, uh, where she get forget things. She can't remember her name. He can't. She can't speak and things like that because there is something that had happened to her brain. So she has to collect her memories back and uh, travel through the world and uh, solve some dungeons and things like that. So it's like a Zelda game mixed with with the um, secret of mana in the old world and. The, the story part is absolutely incredible because the girl 
uh, friend. She's escaping sometimes and removed for the, the world you are playing in. And she's she says, I have to go back to my real world. And your character is like, she's just saying, hey, because that's the only thing she can say at the beginning. And then she learns to say her name and things like that. And later in the game, she is saying, what's wrong and things like that. So the development in the characters uh, is so incredible that you learn the people more and more how f- you further you come into the game and you know there's something wrong with your friend but you can't figure out what and um it's like have you ever seen the movie um uh, hunger games you know the movie hunger games yeah yeah so in this game you have to collect some orbs in the game so there are three uh, four dungeons so you have to complete them like in hunger games that everyone in the game is trying to complete the game in the game so a lot of people are battling to get through the dungeons uh, but the thing that makes me away from completing it is actually the dungeons because i have never played dungeons that are that difficult and uh, okay. i was asking Sean from the group uh he's mostly play xbox series x and uh, games he loved game pass i don't know if you know him about Sean. he's he really loves his xbox and he's like i can't figure out the dungeons and it's very difficult but i really love the game and I, I was like yeah i have the same way and he was looking up that a lot of people actually never complete the game they are moving away from the game and uh, i was searching on the forums and things like that and all the people is stepping away because of the dungeons mm-hmm. they are just too difficult so every time I think the first dungeon is manageable, but still extremely hard. Uh, But dungeon two and dungeon three, I actually use YouTube to figure out what to do. Is is it difficult because of the the puzzle puzzle design? The puzzles are absolutely insane. I've never played a game with so difficult puzzles. Mm. And you just enter a room and you know you have to solve something in this room. And in some way, it's actually, actually pretty incredible that (laughs) <laughs> that there are there is a puzzle that you have to think about but sometimes it's just I, if someone in the chat really love a challenge in the puzzles you have to play cross code and if you like Zelda and if you like chrono trigger and secret of mana cross code cross code is absolutely uh, amazing i have two copies of it um, but is it is it difficult because the the logic is off is it because it doesn't make sense or is it just it's, it's just, just difficult di- it but makes when sense. you figure when you figure it but out you have it to makes be, sense yeah yeah but you have to okay. be pixel perfect so sometimes you can think that you are doing something wrong but you're actually mm. doing the right thing mm. but it's just because whatever it's just because you didn't was standing at the right spot and or something okay. like that so you have to be Neil perfect the, the music is awesome the the graphic is beautiful the story is absolutely credible and i really want to know how the story is, is ending because <laughs> it actually made me cry at the moment where um, she was okay. talking about some hard stuff so absolutely incredible and you get it for very very cheap you can get it for around 200 danish crown on uh yeah almost everywhere so that's a game i want to try again for the fifth time <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah. I, yeah, I really need to play it as well. I bought the uh, the collector's edition off eBay. Sadly, I skipped it on uh, on strictly limited. That would have been a uh, uh, a lot cheaper to go that way. <laughs> I have a, I've tried it. Uh, I don't remember how far I got. I think I got like pretty decently far. Uh, well, I okay. mean, I didn't know that. No, I mean, mm-hmm. I played for maybe ten, eight, ten hours, something like that. Um. I don't remember the dungeons being particularly difficult, but maybe it just didn't <laughs> get to that point yet. Um, or maybe I just don't remember. It's been a while. Mm. Um, I just quickly, I think I missed uh, someone. Do you know who Delph is, uh, Daniel? Uh, he says hi in the chat as well. One more time. Delph, D-E-L-F. No, says, I've never uh, seen him in the chat. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. And uh, Kenneth says that Anglerfish will always be in your backlog, uh, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I have deleted it from my Nintendo Switch. Uh, really? Yeah. I deleted wow. that. He didn't uh, like in... the logo. <laughs> ah, damn. 
No, I didn't uh, like the logo. Actually, I, I get I had a bad feeling every time I looked at the logo. Mm, fair enough. Uh, and then there's some more Eurovision talk. I'll skip Ooh, that. Uh, no. And Andreas Fine. says, I think the original Golden Sun graphics look better than that game. And Anna says, the girl from CrossCode has anime Nisha. So yeah, she watches a lot of anime and she keeps forgetting <laughs> the episodes, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> uh, and he also says, I'm sure CrossCode is uh, better. I uh, haven't played it, but the It'll Do games are really fun too. I played them. uh, Yeah. yeah. I played Little Do 2. And a funny thing is actually it had been removed removed from the Nintendo Store Mm -hmm. eShop. So you can only play it now if you have it as a physical version or if you have downloaded it. You can't buy it anymore on the eShop. Wasn't it released from one of the the limited companies? Yeah, Yeah, it has. has. One print games. No, I didn't buy that. It'll do to no. I it's a know. special uh, it's a limited game. Yeah. So and actually okay. pretty expensive if you try to get I, it. I, I played it like ten years ago on, on on my computer, but I don't think I got very far in it. No. Um I'm not anything sure anything else I'll... with the uh, cross code, uh, Daniel, or was that it? That was it. Yeah, and uh then remember, we will check back when we get the Super Switch and see if we have actually played any of these games. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I'm it's a long f- game, so... Uh, I'm not going to finish all the games on my list, but uh, I'll t- at least try to to play them uh, some. Uh, and I think because my list is a, a bit longer than yours, so I'll take one of mine next if that's okay. Yeah. Um, and... I think as I said it also last time, at least for me, this, some some of the games on this list is kind of like a wall of shame, uh, like games I, sh- I should have played at this point, but uh, maybe I didn't have the time. Maybe I was playing something else at that point. And uh, if you're not Daniel, I think uh, that goes for a lot of us because uh, you can go back and listen to the episode last time when we did the lightning round. Uh, Daniel had played every game, basically. <laughs> uh, that was very impressive. Um I'm not sure if you can see it. What is this? Not it's, really. It's a. Uh, maybe you can see it. But, oh my! My phone is very greasy. It's a uh, yeah. Panille, and yeah. she uh, sent me a message. We are eating late night dinner and watching you on the television. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's very nice. Uh, yeah. So anyway, these are like games. Some of the games are games that obviously I should have played them, but for some reason I just uh, I haven't done that yet. And, uh, and also this entire segment, you can uh, maybe you missed some of the games as well, and you can see it as uh, an inspiration for games to pick up uh, if you are also hit by like the slow slow release schedule that we may be getting over the, the coming months when we are uh, as long as we're waiting on the, the next one. <laughs> uh, and I also want to know uh, anyone in the chat, if you have uh, like a top three, top five, whatever, uh, of your backlog that are games that you want to play, you can uh, put them in the chat and maybe we'll uh, read some of those as well. And that can also be an inspiration for, for us and uh, everyone else for games to, to play if you need something. Yeah, Daniel? Maybe we have to check in to Mark. Is uh, Mark sleeping? I just want to know. <laughs> it's just a, yeah. a little We just need thing. to know. We if, just uh, need to know if, if we, we have completed well. our task. Yeah. Is Mark sleeping? So if anyone can uh, confirm or deny or what do you what do you call that? <laughs> if Mark doesn't say anything, he probably is sleeping. Yeah, yeah. I think but, he's sleeping. Yes, so that's fine. But anyway, uh, I'll I may actually just take the the two first I have because that's kind of related because it's two uh, two Mario games. Ooh. A Mario uh, game on the backlog. Yeah, what? and that that is why I'm telling you it's kind of like wall of shame games. I've sh- I should have played, but for some reason I didn't get around to it yet. Mainline uh, Mario games. Yeah, these are some big Ooh. ones. So I mean, I, I can relate to that, Sonny. <laughs> yeah. So I thought the... that every people have played the mainline Mario games. I'll, I'll, I'll let Sonny talk one. first, but I have some uh, some comments. What? Okay. <laughs> is Paper Mario mainline in your opinion? No, no. Okay. Like uh, Origami King. Yeah. No, that's a that's a spin. That's a spin off, right? I think so. Main mainline, I would say, 
2D and 3D platform Mario. Uh, mm. Like even everything else other than that is a spin-off. I, I, otherwise, we need to discuss the definition of a spin-off. Even Mario Kart and stuff like that, I would say is... Yeah. Even though it's a big series, it's still kind of I'm like a very excited to hear game. what mainline Mario game you haven't played. Okay, I, and I know you're probably going to shut off my camera as soon as I say yeah. this, Daniel. But I'm uh, actually at the... <laughs> <laughs> you're, right now. you're ready you have yeah. your you have your mouse points already yeah. uh yeah i haven't played the uh, super mario brothers well, <laughs> well. <laughs> oh uh, yeah <laughs> no what is going on right now you just need to yeah that is fine okay sorry uh but yeah i really i had I, i'm not gonna explain what super mario brothers wanted Oh I'm an asshole. Daniel. <laughs> no. oh. We still don't know what game you're talking about, Sonny. Maybe. No. <laughs> Daniel. Stop stop touching the things you <laughs> Okay, I will try to fix this, but don't... <laughs> don't... <laughs> yes! Perfect. Okay, okay. So for the people listening, it's just when we're on stream, we have uh, like the host is in a bigger screen on the one side and uh, the people who are not hosting are like in a smaller screen on the other side and then it was just messing around with everything. And whenever you shut someone off, you can't hear them also. So that was an interesting time, Daniel. <laughs> Hi, Jacob. Uh, Jacob? No, it's just, we... you know, people who are listening. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Lesse also said he would listen. But oh, I'm sorry, I think Lesse is gone now. But he said he would listen tomorrow. But uh, it probably won't be ready uh, for his workday, at least. Uh, but I'll try to get it done tomorrow. But yeah, it takes some time to convert it and, and upload and everything. Uh, and the it's usually too late in the evening when we finish these, so I don't do it right away. Usually yeah. the, the next Understandable. day. Understandable. Uh, but yeah, uh, Super Mario uh, Brothers uh, Wonder. So the latest 2D Mario, the first new one they did since the new series. And yeah, everybody was uh, really hyped for that, and uh, mm. I was as well, uh, and I still am really hyped to play it. I only heard good things, but uh, I can't even game. remember. I I can't even remember what I was playing at the time it came out uh, because I had I really had every intention to like start it right away and you know uh, keep up with the the zeitgeist of that game, but uh, it didn't happen. And then what happens when I get a game on release and uh, I don't play it right away, it goes on my shelf. And then I need to like actively say, oh, now I need to get this game from my shelf and, and play it. Uh, and obviously I'm going to play this game. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> so uh, I know that's a, that's a bad one. Oh. Uh, Andreas. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Anas is asking why the, the game was removed that we talked about before. And uh, I think Kenneth is uh, going to bed. Yeah, sleep time. Really sleeping time. Sleep well, uh, Kenneth. And Andreas says, I must admit, I did not really like Mario Wonder. So I've, I've heard that from some people. Maybe they the formula was too fresh or too far removed from... I think it was just a bit too, uh, yeah, too much on LSD for some people. Mm. I think I heard some the people think that it. they had too much gimmick in the game that you had yeah. to get the yeah yeah transformed into a different things in every level. Uh, mm. I really enjoyed the game. I think it was a fresh, fresh game, and I actually think it's my favorite Mario game, mainline Mario game. Um, I really had a good time with it. Across, I uh, actually both didn't two uh, D and three D or yeah. I actually oh um, think that every level was absolutely amazing. I think the first world was pretty basic, but after that, I think the atmosphere, the level design was creative. It was like, it reminded me of Mario 3D World that after you have completed Mario 3D World for the Wii U and now on the Switch, 
I can't remember the levels. And it's not because the levels mm. wasn't memorable. It was just because that every level has something new in it. And when I played my wonder, I was like, I wish that they had used that mechanic one more time. But instead, they just put out a new mechanic. And it was like, oh, that's awesome too. And that's awesome too. Yeah. So I played every level and it was just absolutely amazing. If I have to say one thing that I didn't like about the game was that it maybe was a little bit too easy. Uh, of course, if you play 100%, the, the last level is absolutely crazy, but it was still manageable. <laughs> I think I yeah. used around two hours on it, but it, not, it doesn't compare to my Galaxy 2, yeah, the perfect run. For people who don't know, if Danny uses two hours, it'll take everybody else five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I think uh, it's, no, it's yeah. Keep sure you go. Yeah, I, I will say it's also definitely uh, my favorite two D uh, Mario. Uh, the only thing I didn't like was the elephant, um, and the mm. fact that so many collectibles was hidden behind the elephant. So I had to always have an elephant on standby, even though I really loved using it compared to the other power ups. Yeah, that would be, a, I feel like that would be a good uh, album title for an indie band, Elephant on Standby. <laughs> but, I, but, I, but I still think that Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo is the best replayable Mario game. Mm. I love Galaxy 2, I love Odyssey, but I actually only played Odyssey one time. It's not a game that I want to go back to because it has so many layers. And uh, I think that Wanda has a lot of gimmicks that I don't want to play it again every year as i do with my uh, mario land world i played super mario land world every year and i absolutely love it um and that's probably i'm not sure if galaxy i think galaxy 2 is my fa second favorite and then super mario world so it's very close to each other but i actually i think it's weird if uh, people are criticizing it for like being too gimmicky or changing the mechanics up uh, too much because i i think at least in in 3d mario they they do that a lot also in in odyssey with the different uh, capture uh, captures you can get and i i think that other games they could take like one mechanic from a mario game and make that into an entire game and as you said you you wish they had more levels using the same stuff but they're just like yeah we know this is a great idea but we have another great idea so we're gonna do that as well uh, even though they could make basically an entire game out of uh, several of the mechanics they use. Um, so, yeah, I think we should uh, appreciate that. Yeah, sure. And, uh, yeah, I don't know I, what's I, I, I need to know what mainline game uh, Kim hadn't played. Yeah, but did you have a second one, uh, Sonny, or should I just... Uh... Uh, yeah, we can... Oh, oh sorry, you the, had the second, second one. one. That's yeah, absolutely yeah. crazy. Two Mario games you <laughs> hadn't played. What the fuck is going well, on? Well, okay, this one... It's a bit different. It is uh, Bowser's Fury. Um, so I have I played oh, that's Super such a Mario. Good game. Yeah, I, I know, I know, and I know it's only like three, four, five hours or whatever. It's it's not the the long six hours for hundred percent. So, yeah, six hours maybe. Uh, so that should be doable. And I I played um, Super Mario Three D World on the Wii U. Absolutely Such a good game. It. Absolutely I, I, I underrated like Mario that. game. Yeah, I like that more than Odyssey. I think I said that before on the, the podcast. I'll say that again. Uh, that game put a big smile on my face. Uh, and I know technically I don't need to play that part before I play Bowser's Fury. As I understand, you can just jump straight into yeah, to Bowser's Fury, right? Uh, but I just know that like when I unwrap that game, put it in my Switch and turn it on, I will want to play Super Mario 3D World again. Yeah, Before but you could do that. That's that. an absolutely amazing game, and it, uh, it's worth and I, and I will. Again. But but that's just that's the reason I haven't done it yet because I think when it came out, it hadn't been a long enough time since I played it. Uh, so, but I think now I'm I'm ready to play 3D World again, and then I'll also play uh, Bowser's Fury for sure. So that that was the second one. But you can you can definitely play Bowser's Fury without playing 3D World. It has nothing to each other. I know that I can technically do that. But mm. I think once I put it in my Switch, I will want to play Super I actually again, think so. it was a Mario experience that was very, very different than other Mario experience. Mm. There was a thing with the Bowser Fury that I didn't like because some 
uh, collectibles what was hidden behind that you have to use Bowser to break the walls on some objects. I didn't like that part, but otherwise it was just uh, totally blessed. You are actually... Uh... I hadn't even thought of this because uh, right now we are we are playing uh, Princess Peach uh, Showtime, and my my son he wants to watch as well, and uh, mm -hmm. also enjoy some of the the transformations and what she does. Um, but my daughter is the bigger uh, Peach fan, and my my son is a huge Bowser fan. He really really loves Bowser, so he actually asked me. Now that we're playing the Peach game, he was like, "Oh, do we also do we have a game where it's uh, where you control Bowser and where you can play as him?" So I need to, yeah. If there's if there's a game with a heavy Bowser focus, I should definitely play that with him. He would love that. So yeah, another good reason to uh, to maybe get into that one soon. Is it my turn of shame now? Then uh, I don't know if we should just quickly take a few comments because uh, they're coming in and then we'll get to you kim if that's okay yeah sure uh, andreas says uh, he said he he didn't really like uh, wonder but uh, he loves mario odyssey probably in my top five of best games ever and that i think odyssey is a fine game but uh, yeah as i said i, enjoy I the absolutely 3D world love more. I've, I, I, my game of the year in 2017 was mario odyssey it was mm -hmm. even better than Breath of the Wild and uh, yeah. Xenoblade 2, in my opinion. Uh, oh, I should shut you off Xenoblade. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Xenoblade 2 is the... For you, I think it's kind of like the black sheep in the, the family. Yeah, I, of I, the, of the I, one I love I love Xenoblade 2, yeah. but uh, 1 and 3 is way higher. Yeah. And Anna says, uh, I think that's with relation to you not liking the elephant, uh, Kim. Yeah. He says, uh, translation, couldn't fap to the elephants. I don't know why he, he would write a comment uh, like that. We usually don't cover topics uh, of that nature. So uh, please keep it clean in the comments, people. <laughs> no, we brought it on our own. Uh, Anna says, you're a DK guy, it seems. I don't know what that was in relation to. I think it's to Andreas. Yeah. And uh, Kim says back to Anna's that uh, you under under underestimate my power, Anna's. So, but uh, please save it for after the stream, uh, Kim. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and Anna says, I've been listening to the soundtrack of Tropical Freeze at work every day this week. Nice. Five hours of pure joy. Nice. And Anna says, the soundtrack is uh, amazing. I really love the Savannah and Fruit Jungle. Yeah, the Savannah, so much. the Savannah track in Tropical Freeze is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. But we need to be careful what we read in the comments and what we say with our games because I can already feel it, Daniel. You can uh, you can really get into it. That's uh, the thing. Have, yeah, and we have. I don't know about you guys. So I have work. I've worked tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you remember last time where we were talking about we can breeze through the the games. You can't do that. Yeah, and no. through the but also the lightning round yeah. because I actually I listened to the last part of our last episode uh, this yeah. uh, during the last couple of days. And it's like we we talked about okay we need to wrap this up and then it still takes forty five minutes. Yeah, but we still have one hour. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, okay, sure. Kim, your yeah, first name just on really your quick, list. It's not uh, it's not part of the list, so I'm gonna be really okay. quick about it. Haven't played uh, the new soup game at all. Oh, I'm no <laughs> no interest in that. Uh, I didn't complete um, new soup. New Super Mario. That's that's a spin off. Okay. That's a spin off. Uh, I didn't complete uh, 3D World. I did play it, but I didn't complete it. And I didn't play Bowser of Fury either. Mm. Uh, that's not part of my backlog, though. Maybe it should be. Especially uh, 3D World. Yeah. My first game is comes with a big asterisk. Because when what? I played... That's the, the little star yeah. that you put next to a word. If there's like a, oh okay something yeah. I thought you said out. a big asterisk as a asterisk and obelix. No, that was uh, like but yeah, I'm actually, I'm really cu curious about yours, Kim, because you told me that your list was between four and a half and eight and a half games long. So I'm really oh, no, curious it, it was, uh, how that works out. Eight eight and a half, but four and a half of those I can group together to okay. save time. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, it's a big asterisk because when I played it, the load times were horrendous uh it's a game with random battles and there was a 15 second load time before the battle and a 15 second load time after the battle 
Mm. I heard there was a patch that made it better, but I'm not sure how good so I need to. Uh, but it's it's Chris Tales. I know Daniel has tried it as well. Mm, Chris Tales. Um, so I'll just uh, see if I can get the trailer. Can you see it now? Uh, I think I need to do something mm, here. Yeah. 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 Chris Tales. Yeah. Uh, love the art style. Uh, and the game had so much charm. Mm. But the load time just killed it. Yeah, the load times were yeah. horrible. I remember um, that. So I'll need to uh, check out the past version. And if it's bearable, then I'll definitely complete it. But so what kind it's... of um, what kind of a game is it? What's the genre? It's a and, uh, JRPG. Oh, sorry. Uh, hmm? <laughs> Let me keep it so talking. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, it's, it's a JRPG uh, with uh, some puzzle elements. You can like uh, time shift. So hmm. the left side of the screen is the past, and the right side of the screen is the future. And you can push an enemy in. So like, if you push him to the future, maybe his shield rusts. Uh, push oh. him to the past, he turns into a baby. Um, very interesting <laughs> uh, fight system. Yeah. It sounds like it's some interesting mechanics for sure. Um, I really love what I played of the game. I played it for like two hours, uh, but yeah, I just couldn't deal with the, <laughs> the loading. As I said, with the loading times. I stopped at the same uh, reason. They haven't uh, patched it or anything. I mean, they did, uh, but from what I heard, it's like bringing it from fifteen seconds to eight seconds or something like that. Hmm. Um, Okay. So, I mean, I'll still try again and see um, if it's uh, better. But I don't have too much hope for it. Uh, how to. No. Oh, yeah. It's weird. I, it's also just because what we are, we are used to these days, it's, uh, it's really tough when the loading times are. Yeah, long. but I, I don't mind loading times when you switch areas or no. something like that but it, when it's a game with random battles yeah you shouldn't yeah. have to load for no 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 15 seconds much. before no. and after it was absolutely I mean, breaking the game you spend more time loading than uh, you did actually playing the game <laughs> okay yeah that uh, that's not a good thing <laughs> no. let's see uh yeah uh i think Anna i said will... he just bought it yeah, just bought. Uh, <laughs> was that Chris Tales or yeah, Chris Tropical Tales. Freeze? Maybe. Chris Tales. Yeah, Tropical Freeze. Maybe it wasn't on sale. I don't know. Uh, bought it with Demon Turf, a 3D platformer like a hat in time. I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. let me know uh, how the load times are mm -hmm. when you get to it. A hat in time is okay game. Yeah, I like that's that. a, that's a 3D collectathon. Yeah, yeah. it's Danish yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh. But uh, sadly, when we're talking about load times, the load times in ahead in time is actually pretty bad too. Yeah, but at least that's mm. only like between levels, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I will uh, take the next one on my list. Is it me, right? Uh, yeah, but the thing is, my list oh, is longer, okay. so that's mm. that's uh, why right, it's right. not going to be. That's why I asked you guys before how many you have, mm. because uh, otherwise I will just be left with six games in the end, and I'll talk. I understand <laughs> that. So so yeah, I'll uh, I'll try to jump a bit back and forth. Uh, the next one on my list is uh, Blossom Tales: The Sleeping Ooh. King. Uh, that's a good which game. Is uh, to my understanding is uh, like a a two D Zelda like. Uh, game no top down it's a it's no? it's a directly copyright it's a, a direct copy to of a link to the past it's it's like a link to the past <laughs> yeah it's, it's they perfect. don't even hide it yeah but i'll i'll tell you why it is on my list uh, because we we touched a bit on this in an earlier episode we talked about uh, link's awakening um which i think on the switch is that the only 2D Zelda release we've we've had? Yeah, I think, and uh, I didn't like that. Uh, unless much. you count the uh, the NSO stuff. No, the Necro Dancer spin-off, the dancing. No, no, rhythm. I'm, I'm talking about like regular yeah. Zelda. Yeah. We we got Link's Awakening, and 
uh, I was excited for that because I I really really enjoyed a Link Between Worlds on my 3DS, um, mm-hmm. and I hadn't played the the Game Boy original, so it was perfect. Link's Awakening is a good Game Boy game. It's not a good Switch game. Yeah, and yeah, I I didn't enjoy it very much, and uh, they haven't really announced anything new in the the 2D Zelda realm. We are we're still waiting for a new original game or remake or whatever they can come up with. Um, so to to kind of like uh, cover for that, I uh, I think Blossom Tales: The Sleeping King would be a good good replacement uh, as sure. uh, as I'm waiting for an actual 2D Zelda game. So that's why I put it on the list. It's a so great game. Hopefully, it will give me more joy than Link's Awakening. I haven't tried that one either. Often so when the, the when game games game. often when games really are stealing from another game, yeah, I don't like to play them. But in this case, I actually think it was so obvious and that they, that they actually make a little bit fun of it that it was so clearly that <laughs> I actually accepted. it. And it was oh, a good okay. game. It was a good game. Hmm. And I heard um, the second game should be even better. Lesser have told me that the second game is even better. Yeah. I haven't played that. I have bought it, but I haven't played. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter for me because uh, I haven't played A Link to the Past. So uh, Do we have it physical? I'm good. I know. Keep... <laughs> do we have a do we have a blossom tail physical? Uh, yeah, I can't remember who. That's a rare that, one. But uh, limit run. Is that limited? Run? Yeah, but it's a very it was... rare game. Yeah, I have. Uh, I have it's I have around first one thousand five hundred for just the standard version. Okay. It's a rare uh, limited run game. I really want it in my collection, but but uh, yeah. Yo, yo, I, 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 I love no, 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 Andreas. I love a link to the past. Oh, I think he's talking. I think maybe he's talking about me. I didn't say I didn't like it. Uh, I said I didn't play it. (laughs) (laughs) That's uh... haven't played Link to the Past. Yeah, you didn't hear it as well, Daniel. (laughs) I know that because you didn't react. (laughs) Okay, Kim, that's too crazy. I can't. I can't handle that. Our host hadn't played a Link to the Past. What? What the fuck is just? (sighs) Daniel, you, you. That's absolutely you keep missing with no, 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 no. <laughs> no. That's why. Why haven't you played a link to the past? One of the best games ever made. One is a. It's like saying you haven't seen Titanic. No, that doesn't. No, it's like saying you I haven't, haven't seen Titanic. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, sorry guys. Welcome to the P wing. Um, today we are talking about Sonny and Kim. Why they haven't played a link to the past and seen Titanic? That's, I, I, I oh. What the fuck is wrong with you? Daniel, you're, you're you messing up the order my, every you time. You haven't played my, my, my mainline <laughs> games and you haven't seen Titanic. And... <laughs> but I, I, I can't handle it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is okay. Well. I, I need you gotta, to know, you gotta stop I, doing that, Daniel. I, I, we yeah. spend too much time yeah. uh, t- switching it back and forth. I need to know. But, um, I, I need to know why you haven't seen Titanic and played A Link to the Past. Okay, uh, that's 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 absolutely insane. That's like you are saying you hate my child. That's that's kind <laughs> of level. Eh, your child's not that cute, Daniel. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. You, you, you I'm have kidding. you have to explain. You have to explain. He's super cute. You have uh, to explain. Who, I who love starts? all the the small videos you do. I love the, the I showed my wife the lime tasting. He's he, he's talking he, where he was just he tasted lime. He's like Argh! it was like uh, he <laughs> went super saiyan Johnny, or something. Come to the point. This is very important. Why haven't you played uh, a link to the past? Maybe you should should we start? Why you haven't seen Titanic? Kim? Yeah, because sure, why haven't you seen Titanic? <laughs> I've just never gotten around to it. It's. Uh, I mean, how old were you in uh, in '97? Six. It's like me. Six yeah. years old when it came out. Yeah. So. Yeah, Panilla haven't yeah. seen Titanic. Thank you, Panilla. <laughs> <laughs> Panilla only uh, watch horror games, horror movies. But yeah. Panilla, Andreas, to, Andreas, Andreas also, Andreas also says that uh, it's he's he's relieved that I didn't uh, bash 
a link to the past, but he says it's still pretty bad that you didn't play it. And I think we we woke up uh, Mark with this. Yeah, Andreas says you shocked <laughs> Mark awake with the Link's Awakening or Link's uh, Link to the Past Revelation. Yeah. Can, can, oh, but anyway, I can, can tell we you. Promise Daniel. you that you will watch Titanic for next time. Keep you have to watch it. Uh, can you? Long, long if I can free find it for free. You, yeah, sure. you can find it for free. Sure, you have to. You have to three hours. You can play a game beside. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I will. I will play uh, Blossom Tales first, and then I'll play a link to the past afterwards, and I'll be like, ah, it's just a copy of. <laughs> Blossom Tales. I play no. A Link to the Past every year, and every time yeah. it's a blast. It's like a Christmas deal for me. It, oh, it's such a good game. Why haven't you played? Uh, Why? I'll just take some comments. No. Anna <laughs> says... <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I'll I'll tell you, Daniel, why I haven't uh, played it. Um, I think, you know, uh, as an adult and also as a, as a kid, it's like I Played, as a kid, I played the games I, I got or I bought, and that was based on cover art or whatever. So even if I I really liked the game, like Super Mario 64, I didn't necessarily get the next one. I actually I never played Sunshine. We can make a complete list of uh, games I haven't played. Um, so it was a bit random what I played as a kid. Um, and now it's like if, if I don't play stuff at launch, it's also a bit random what I get into playing at a later date. And when I was a kid, I was uh, I was a big uh, Mario guy. Uh, I played the the two D Mario and I, yeah, as I said, Super Mario sixty four and all those. And I was I wasn't actually a big uh, Zelda fan. As uh, I, I played the original, or at least the first one on uh, on NES back in the day, but. It wasn't it's like top of my list of favorite games or, or anything. So it wasn't on my mind during the, the Super Nintendo days, I would actually say. Uh, and I did dabble in the Zelda franchise occasionally, but I, I didn't really become a fan of Zelda until Breath of the Wild, I would say. Wow. Or maybe let's say a, a Link Between Worlds as well. I enjoyed that one. Uh, so I, I know that I should play A Link Between Past. Okay. Uh, I have a, to, a link to the past. A link to the past. Have you, past, but, have you uh, played a green of time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know, I haven't. And I borrowed it from a friend back in my in the N sixty four days. And uh, <laughs> I started it, and uh, I didn't enjoy it, so I gave it back to him. Yeah, I think so, he's wrong. Yeah. But I think we, we had a good run. We did five episodes. Uh, so I guess this is the end of the Ghastly Goombas. <laughs> oh, this I'm, is just I'm getting out. worse and I'm worse out. and worse. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I can't handle it. What the fuck? Uh, anyway, Anna says everyone has seen Evil Dead 2, right? Mm, I'm not sure, actually. No. You and, haven't uh, played Ocarina of Time? No, only Damn, we're going to be here all night if you start. But, yeah. but if, if this is the new topic, then yeah, this is going to take a long time. But I did. I, I actually, I recently, I recently bought uh, the Ocarina of Time uh, 3D version for the 3DS and uh, Wind Waker HD for the Wii U because I intend to play those two. I haven't played Wind Waker either. Let's get it out of the way because I, I tried Ocarina of Time uh, back in the early, uh, oh, sorry, in the late '90s, and it wasn't for me at that time. I was <laughs> like 12, 12 years old, and then I I didn't really touch uh, 3D Zelda uh, until Breath of the Wild. I wasn't excited for Breath of the Wild, but uh, you know I Ooh. I love it now, and now I have Ooh. just a backlog of oh, Zelda my. games that we I have, need to. We get have just to. lost ten subscribers after <laughs> you say that. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Mark says to Penille that uh, we know that you don't watch anything older than 2016 because she hasn't seen uh, Titanic. And Andrea says Penille is excused regarding Titanic. She was only just born the same year it came out. <laughs> so, and she says she likes uh, new things. And uh, yeah, I think Anna is saying, oh dear and oh no to all my revelations. And Anna is saying that is shocking news. 
And Andreas says, all caps, you did not enjoy Ocarina of Time? Question mark, question mark. And then, no, not. It didn't capture me, at least, in the, in 98. You're like, uh, yeah, you're like Jacob. <laughs> you're just like Jacob. No, because Jacob likes uh, Link, Link's Awakening. So please sure. don't uh, <laughs> put me in the same group sure. as him. Um, but yeah, Anna says, it's okay, you will play the remake. Yeah, actually, if I wait long enough, maybe we'll get the Ocarina of Time remake for Super Switch. Could be. Could be, yeah. I'm, I'm so. literally in shock. <laughs> I can't move forward. So I guess we'll end the episode here and uh, we'll <laughs> never finish the backlog list. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, so yeah, Blossom Tales spun us off into this discussion. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Daniel. Hope. Oh. Are you doing it again? No, it's not. No, this we time. actually lost him. Okay, we lost. We totally lost the uh, keep. I actually uh, think he did it in purpose. I think he was like, I'm done with no Ocarina of Time love. I think he's back. I'm back. <laughs> uh, accidentally, was uh, I was just fidgeting with this magnet thing my son has, and I placed it upon the, the sleep magnet on my computer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Andreas says, uh, it's actually not that bad, Sonny. From now on, I know that anything you enjoy, I would have to avoid. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't 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 necessarily work like that. <laughs> uh, and Alexander says, "Sonny, do you like Link's Awakening?" No, I've said several times, not a fan of uh, Link's Awakening. And Anna says, "Breaking news tomorrow." <laughs> I like that you call me like just semi-fat, but uh, <laughs> I would say <laughs> morbidly obese uh, man <laughs> thrown out of podcast after putting a co-host in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Are you with us, Daniel? How's your pulse? <laughs> no, I'm sweaty. I'm, okay. I'm... But to get your mind off that and onto something else, why don't you take the next game on your list, uh, Daniel? Sure, sure. Well, okay. The next game uh, I have on the list is uh, a game that I have purchased, but uh, <laughs> it's East 10. And uh, oh, the reason why I have this still in my backlog is because I was very, <laughs> I was like, I want to complete this game. I can't wait for East 10. Uh, if you know me just a little bit, you know that East 8 is absolutely mm -hmm. a blast. It's one of my favorite Switch experience I had. And uh, keep really love it too, I've heard. Yeah. So um, we had a whole I, last episode about it. Yeah, and the music in East 8 is absolutely incredible. I didn't like East 9 that much, but um, all the things I've seen from East 10 looks absolutely incredible. And uh, so I was purchasing the game from Japan because uh, the East series is already always getting uh, early release in Japan, and we have to wait for around a year or a year and a half to get it in Europe. And I was like, I, I can't wait. And it, did it hadn't been announced that it will come in English version. And I was a little bit afraid that we did won't get it. So um, I was purchasing East 10 Nordic uh, from Japan. And my plan was to uh, download an app on my telephone that could, <laughs> where I could take a picture of every screen where there was a text. And then it will translate it. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I can do that. And uh, then I yeah. then I got reminded that ease ease games had a lot of text. So uh, I think I used around three hours just in the intro, <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to translate everything. Yeah, but I think I went five hours into the game, and uh, I must admit that the music is absolutely crazy good, crazy good. I still think that the East games had a little pacing issue. It takes a lot before you come into the game. Uh, there's a lot of reading and text at the beginning always. But the five hours I have played, that's around maybe two hours of gameplay, was uh, absolutely a blast. It reminded me of East 8. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very interesting that it, it, um, it takes place in the north 
the Nordic in Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and places like that, and you're sailing around in the pirate ships, and uh, that's it, it, the story so far seems pretty interesting. Um, and I love that you always play as Adolf. Adolf, sorry. Um, <laughs> sometimes I come to <laughs> pronouncing Adolf. Adolf. Yeah, Freudian don't say slip. That. Adolf. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, if you like good graphic. You probably won't like ease because <laughs> well, the graphic no. isn't that good looking on the series. It's not that they thinking that they want the new best looking graphic. And even though if you play it on PlayStation Five, it still looks like shit. But but the gameplay is just so fun, and the combat system is great. The music is absolutely incredible. If you are listening to uh, my selection of uh, uh, chill music, the playlist I made, there are two songs from the E series, and every time, yeah, I listen to my own playlist on the work, every time it comes, I just sure. bang in my head, so I can't wait to play it, and I actually think Kim is going to like it very much, too. It comes... Is the, is the Evil... gameplay, is is it anything like uh, E's origin, or is it is that a different... No, no. it's a different type of game. Okay. You, it's like a, you're seeing like it's a Zelda game, but it's an action JRPG. Okay, because I think what we saw in the in the trailer, it looked like some of the traversal reminded me of Monster Hunter Rise with the kind of oh, Spider Man. It's, it's nothing like that stuff. Yeah, it's no, not just like the traversal Man. part, but maybe mm. that was like a cutscene or something. No, no, you you're yeah, swinging around. Just... You... Okay. The the the, the how far, um, I was visiting two island in the game and. Uh, I remember I thought that the gameplay was very smooth and it was very slick every time you visit the island because you were swinging around in the trees and jumping around to find mm -hmm. treasures and things like that. And you were chased by a troll. So it had a lot of different things. And I think the gameplay was very different from East 9 and 8, but still had the charm from East, East 8. So, um, so the reason why it's on my backlog is because I dropped off the East Japanese version and I will wait yeah. to the European version and it will get released in the fall this year. So I'm excited to play it. Cool. So, yeah, East 10. Uh, yeah. And uh, Mark, he says, morbidly obese, question mark. I would say that is an overstatement, uh, but I... I'm a, like a, a fairly dense guy, so even if I'm I'm skinny, my BMI index will still be like in the in the range above normal weight. And actually, now my my BMI is close to 36. So if you look at that chart, I am uh, like it's not obese; it's like the next step above or <laughs> something. It's crazy, but that is uh, that is an overstatement. Um, and Mark says. <laughs> I'm impressed you thought of that idea, Daniel, but I'm even more impressed that after thinking about it, you actually proceeded with that plan. I, that is called dedication, I would say. That's crazy. Yeah. And Mark also says that uh, Adolf was uh, further south, Daniel. <laughs> so uh, let's not uh, talk too much about Adolf. I, I think it's very, very sad because I really think Adolf is a cute name. Yeah, but it's... I, it's I don't destroyed know. by the man, but yeah, there was but I don't know, there was a guy a few years back yeah, or a few decades back or whatever. But if you he think, kind of, ruined if you it, think about it, if you think about it, Adolf is pretty cute. Sure. Maybe it'll uh, it'll come back eventually. No, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. <laughs> I'd uh, so probably will, but it'll probably be a couple hundred years. You think? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. After the apocalypse, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, I think I'll take. Uh, can I my take the next, next one? one? Just because you can, but uh, it relates it's, to it's, East. It's or... East Nine. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, okay, I, I have to ask you one thing. You was on the review on East Nine, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you you, you didn't complete the game back then. No. no. So, uh, okay. I got to like chapter six or seven or something yeah i think it was around the same place and, i got to and the thing is that i've heard that uh for those who don't know you go around there's a lot of you recruit people and there's like uh, you recruit a person each chapter until you have your full party of six and apparently that's when the game really picks up but it's just so slow until that point that uh, yeah. i don't know um I heard I never got to the good stuff, so I, I'm planning on doing that at some mm -hmm. point. 
Yeah, but definitely it's really difficult. Uh, uh, is is eight over over nine, and I'm I'm looking forward to ten. It's it's difficult if a game takes too long to yeah like get to the good part, because it's a big commitment to spend a lot of hours like I think, doing yeah. boring stuff or like playing quote unquote a bad game. Just I think to, the to problem get... with uh, East yeah. Nine was that it was you. The, most of the game was in the town. You was in a big town. Yeah. And normally when you think about East game, you think a very colorful game, but the, the town was so gray and moody. Um, so, and and it was a, kind of repetitive in the way you was moving around in the town. Uh, I must admit the last chapter Kim, was actually incredible, <laughs> but uh, I had I didn't have a good time <laughs> up to the last chapter, but the last <laughs> chapter was good. Did you complete it? I completed afterwards. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't complete it when we was doing the review. So I was taking off. Uh, I was stopping playing it. Pr- probably the same uh, place where you stopped. Yeah. Uh, and then I think I up to East Ten. I was like, I need to play East Nine before mm. East Ten, uh, even though East Ten actually is a prequel to East Nine. The the chronology mm. is all messed up i think <laughs> yeah. like seven is the first chrono of like maybe the first it's pretty early yeah at least and uh, eight is after nine as well i think and it's all yeah yeah but um I, I actually think the the last chapter was pretty good and the ending was actually really good yeah yeah I'll, still, uh, i understand I'll, why I'll you didn't but you will get to it that's that's awesome Probably like, is, this, uh, just as you probably before ten gets yeah. released in Europe. The European mm-hmm. release. Anas is dropping some uh, like pop quiz uh, knowledge in the chat, saying that Adidas shoes are named after their creator Adolf Dassler. His nickname was Eddie, so the shoe name is a shortening of Eddie and Dassler. Interesting. So, yeah. Uh, I actually I didn't know that his name was uh, Adolf, but I did know that. His, his his name was uh, like the contraction of his name was the name of the brand. Um, yeah, Ease. I I only played Ease Origin, but I I I enjoyed that. I thought that yeah, was like, like an, it, right? an eight out of ten uh, game. Mm-hmm. I had a good time. So uh, and I think you but, posted so my review on the Nintendo Talk three times or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, they keep giving me a new new reason to do so. Uh, yeah. But I'm Thank I'm glad that. I picked up the collector's edition also yeah. before that got got sold out. I didn't get very far um, that. Oh, I mean, as I said, it's it's not a masterpiece or anything. Eight out of ten, a good game. I had a good time, and it's not uh, it's not very long. Uh, yeah. So I was I was also curious to play more games in the series, but. Then, uh, as I yeah, as I understand, the gameplay is nothing like East Origin anyway. So it's a that's a whole different I kind think of ball game. The old, I mean, there's a vast difference between the 2D and 3D games. I tried the East One on my Wii. Oh, and it's that's not good game. <laughs> I didn't like it's, East One. It's a two. different experience. Let's just put it like that. Yeah, you're walking into the enemies <laughs> in East One. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't have any attack. You just walk into them and then they die. <laughs> oh. But uh, I think I will take the next one on my list, yeah. um, which is Live Alive. I'll see if I can also uh, maybe share a trailer here so we can have that running. Um, and the reason this is on my list and the reason I want to play it is uh, because I was really excited for the first Octopath Traveler. Um, I played the demo and really enjoyed it, and I was really looking forward to to, the, to that game. And it came out, and I, I picked it up and started playing it immediately. I have the Collector's Edition, a really, really cool uh, Collector's Edition as well. Uh, and I think I got 10, 15 hours into Octopath Traveler, and yeah, it's... I don't know. It was too... Yeah, I don't know. It, it was just too big of a split between the characters, and yeah. I don't know. I, it didn't really grab me like I thought it would. So that was a, a disappointment uh, for me. And from what I've heard about Live Alive, I think that may actually uh, like be the game I was hoping Octopath Traveler would, would be. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's also a, a shorter game. 
uh, but still with these like different story arcs, different uh, characters you can play as like in, in Octopath uh, Traveler. And this is the remake for the Switch where they made it in that uh, uh, 2D HD uh, engine. Yeah. Also, I think. Um, so yeah, I think this was would actually fulfill what I would what I had hoped that Octopath Traveler would be. Uh, so uh, yeah, I need to I need to play this, and it's also it's not supposed to be uh, super long actually um, compared to games in this genre. Usually, I think it's around fifteen to twenty hours. Yeah, maybe thirty for me. I'm a slow gamer, but still, compared to like fifty, eighty, a hundred, or yeah. you know, some of these games can be really long. Then Live Alive is not so bad. So, I didn't uh, like it. So yeah, I, I had like, like it completely forgotten yeah. that game existed. Yeah, I I played, I think five hours, and I was yeah. so bored. I think it was so boring. <laughs> But maybe I will be as well. To to be fair, at least for me, the games on my list, I will try to play all of them. But I am not gonna promise that I'll finish all of them, no. because if uh, if the if if they don't grab me, I will uh, I will spend my time on something else. But uh, I just have a feeling that that this could maybe the game that I had hoped that Octopath Traveler would be. So at least for me, maybe it's yeah, it can fill in a, a void of some kind there. So that's why I have it on my my list. I heard the ending was is a the the last part of the game is pretty amazing. Yeah. But uh, if you have to play eighty percent of the game before <laughs> it gets amazing, yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, uh, I'll I'll let you know if I, if or when I get to it. I'll uh, I'll let you know. Uh, so what about you, Daniel? Maybe you could take the next one. Yeah. Sure. Um. Let me see if I can put up the trailer then. Uh, no, you know what? I'm just talking about this game. Yeah, we next... don't need necessarily no. a trailer for it. Okay. So the next okay. game I have on the list is a game that uh, a lot of uh, people I often listen to when they recommend a game. I will try out the game they recommend me. But uh, I have been a little grumpy man, I think, about this game. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I f- I think there's something about the type of music that are in the game. If you know me a little bit, I'm not the biggest fan of lyrics in my games, but uh, if you listen to some of my playlists, there are some lyrics in some of the music, so I I like some of them. But uh, yeah, I think I got a little bit grumpy about some of the music choices, and um, you know me, I love JRPGs, so often I really just want my GRPG be a normal GRPG. I don't want virtual virtual novels in the game or a lot of talking and things like that. But this game, I must admit, I have to play it. And I'll only play one hour and I dropped off. And uh, the game I'm talking about is Persona 5 Royal. Mm. So a lot of people have recommended me this game because they say it's one of the, and maybe the best GRPG ever made, according to someone. And um, when people say that, you have to play it. And if someone told me that I should play Shimegami Tensei Five, the game that actually are the original, this is actually a spin-off of Shimegami Tensei Five. If someone told me, then you have to play Shimegami Tensei Five because it reminds me of uh, it reminds me of uh, Pokemon and classic JRPG and Cineblade. I would be <laughs> you are crazy. I fucking hate Pokemon. Why should I play a, a game? <laughs> where there are Cineblade and Pokemon elements in. But Persona 5, uh, no, sorry, Shin Megami Tensei 5 was absolutely amazing. It was my game of the year back in 2000, and I think it was 21. And um, I was blown away by the game. I think I've talked about it. So I have to play uh, Persona 5. The reason why I haven't started on the game is because I know it's a very lengthy game. And um, when I started to play the game, at the beginning, you got the option to play in ultra easy, easy, uh, medium, hard, very hard, ultra hard. And there's and there actually was another easy mode that was just for the storytelling. 
and that made me so angry. And I made a video about <laughs> difficulty in games. Difficulty and, in games. Yeah, yeah, and I got a, a lot of comments in the, those videos because a lot of people have different uh, opinions on that. And I thought it was very interesting that a lot of people had a, another opinion on difficulty. So I actually stopped playing the game because I wanted to make the video. And after that, I uh, get dropped off and play something else. But I really want to play Persona 5 uh, Royal. So that's on my backlog. And I'm pretty excited to see if I'm going to like it because I think I'm going to like it. I actually does. I'm just a grumpy old man sometimes. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking that's forward strange. to play this. Yeah. And it also mm-hmm. says in the chat, Persona, the best JRPG. It takes a while to get going, and it's too long, but I love that game so much. <laughs> so, yeah, a good uh, good pick. Um, have you played? And then, any no, of you? No, no. Uh, no. I haven't played any any Persona or, or Shin Megami Tensei uh, games. And I know you told us in, one, in, in an early episode that uh, we shouldn't play Shin Megami Tensei uh, if we are a bit depressed at that time no. we should then uh, do it in another time so yeah. uh, but uh, it sounds like an interesting game so but i don't know if i should then play shin megami tensei 5 or persona 5 royal if i like if i had to choose between the two uh, persona 5 i think you could play that if you are happy uh, if you're depressed <laughs> i think you will get happy about that i'm not sure maybe no <laughs> so actually they're talking first, about some then, serious like, topics become happy and then <laughs> yeah. i actually think there are some serious topics in persona 5 but i still think the jesse mood and uh, and uh, yeah. the mask thing is very cheering up so yeah. and it says the mood when it's raining is amazing yeah um, I think I will just uh, quickly take the next one. I don't have a lot to to say on that. Maybe exactly. I should let's. Maybe I should do a let's play of Persona Five. It's a long. Oh, let's... That's a long let's play, but yeah, yeah sure. But, maybe. but if you can do it like on a Jump King schedule where you play uh, yeah. like several nights a week, then uh, yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, my next one. You uh, you actually mentioned this uh, game before, uh, Daniel. Uh, okay. It is uh, the Zelda rhythm game, Cadence of Hyrule. Mm. Crypt of the Nec- uh, Necro Dancer, um, and because yeah, I, d- I don't know. That looks interesting, and I feel like I should play it, and I have it uh, physically. I don't have uh, like a big reason for that specifically. I tried to, as we talked about last time, uh, if you play a game in one genre, maybe you want to mix it up afterwards. So I tried to get like a mix of different stuff for for my list here and uh, it looks interesting and i haven't played a rhythm game in a long time so uh <laughs> and it has yeah. already made the how and lengthy says, the, let's the play game is like 100 hours long so it will be 33 parts of three hours but that would that would Doable. be an amazing Doable. Nice Doable. and jan bjorn says uh, crypt of the necro dancer is uh, awesome awesome so, I couldn't so, get yeah. into it, but it's just a whole nope. rhythm thing. I'm I'm really bad at that. Yeah, I, I'm. I think I'm I'm okay with that. So I think that would be be fine. So yeah, Cadence of Hyrule is uh, my next one. Uh, Kim, can you yeah. take one? I have a, a section I can go through mm-hmm. real quick. I just need to Daniel's uh, recommendations. Yeah, exactly. It's called Daniel recommends. <laughs> uh, I tunic to it last week, well, last time, mm. which is the only one I don't own. Then there's Eastward, Xenoblade, Creek, <gasps> and Undertale. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about Donkey Kong Country 2? So, I mean, we talked about that. So nah. many gems. That's nowhere to be found. Um, keep, 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 you have one of the, you have the best experience in front of you. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh <laughs> uh, my God. So I don't want to spend too much time on that because it's getting late. But, but yeah, it's 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 we could talk an that... hour about that. Yeah, exactly. That is why we should not oh, get, get into it. Um, but I actually I thought about it earlier, Daniel, because uh, out of the three of us, it seems like uh, you you have a uh, you 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 get through more games than me and Kim does, and uh, you recommend. I play a lot I play Jump King for around four I mean, months. Yeah, now. you do that now, but uh, before <laughs> well, that, I so we could have for around five years now. Yeah. But we could have a segment that is uh, Daniel recommends, and then you uh, look back at the uh, games you played and uh, take I, one each time. I would really recommend your people in the chat if you're not interested in playing on the tail, see my let's play of on the tail, the the good run, the pacifist run. It's mm-hmm. 
I think you will be blown away. And I think the reaction and the talk with the chat is absolutely amazing. That's one of my favorite Let's Play ever. And yeah. it took my socks off. The ending is mind-blowing in Undertale. And we still have a challenge with you guys. Joachim is supposed to play Undertale and Daniel, you're supposed supposed to play Return of the Oblivion. But yeah, uh, yeah that's uh, going to take a while, I think. I think the problem uh, is that I'm watching Jump King when I should be playing it. <laughs> yeah, when you should be playing games. And but you can, can, you can play can... You can play uh, Undertale while you're watching Jump King. Not, no, it's, it's too no. story no, that's heavy. Right. And yeah, you're right. You're right. I can but... play Pokemon and I can play uh, Battle Troll when I'm watching. Oh, that's because... about it. Yeah, or pick a picks or what version yeah, you're sure. playing. Uh, Anna says, What a list of bangers! So I feel like yeah. you and Anna have a similar taste in games, uh, Daniel. Yeah, my Anna are very uh, similar in a lot of games. Uh, sometimes yeah. there, are often, uh, there are things yeah, that sticks Anna, out. Anna but, also yeah. says that uh, it's an amazing let's play. That's your Undertale one. Loved watching it. And Jan Bjorn also says Undertale is awesome. And Anna was on fire in the chat on the Undertale. It was crazy. She was like, Damn. Yeah, I had a lot of great memories with uh, Anna in the, in the Let's Play uh, of Undertale. She's a part of that journey. Yeah, that's the special thing when you stream games. It's a different experience. <laughs> um, I'll quickly take my next one. Uh, it's uh, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. Uh, and I, as I said, I, I played and I loved uh, Super Mario 3D World. Uh, and as soon as you played one of those Captain Toad levels, I was like, mm, this could be a game on its own. And it ended <laughs> up being that. Uh, it was kind of kind of obvious. Uh, and but but I haven't I haven't played it yet, and uh, I actually think I would enjoy it. And it's I, it's another one of those games where I can see okay, I can I can play this with my kids, and they may even be able to take over the controller uh, because I, I think it's it's fairly simple. But uh, I enjoyed the levels I played in in 3D yeah. World, so uh, I think I would enjoy that as well. It's it's a good game. Uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't I didn't get all the way through it. I don't think it got a little too monotonous. In the end, yeah, but it was. I could fun. imagine that it would get a bit samey in the end, but uh, I, I mean, I play a lot of games that I don't finish, so I and and that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy the game or anything. Oh, no, for sure. So I, I can just I could enjoy it for five hours and say that's fine. I've had my fill of Captain Toad Treasure Tra Tracker, and that's that's it. So, so yeah, that's that's totally fine, yeah. Um. And yeah, Anna says just like uh, Jack with uh, Gree. Yeah, I know uh, Daniel, you and Jack had a special thing when you uh, were streaming that. <laughs> and uh, Jan Bjorn says you guys should play uh, just shapes and beats. It uh, it has a Super Mario esque campaign. I think it has co op as well. Uh, plus, you guys need to play What Remains of Edith Finch. Oh, he's dropping all the recommendations in the chat now. Um, Daniel, can you take the next one? Yeah, but I actually think I will do some uh, fast ones and have one last game yeah, that I'll talk about. It's a good idea. If you have some that you can go yeah. through without we are spending yeah, 10 minutes on it, I that have. would be fine. So the first game I have is uh, Terranigma for the Super Nintendo. Yeah. So uh, I have played uh, Illusion of Gaia and uh, Soul Blazer, and this should be the third game. It was never released in USA. So it's a pretty rare one, and that actually should be the best one. And I played around two hours of the game only, and I must admit it was absolutely incredible, the, the first two hours. So I can't wait to dig into the game, Terranigma. Then I have Action Verge 2. The first game is one of the best Metroidvania games I have ever played. Uh, I don't know why I never got around to play the second game. I think, I don't know. I really want to, so uh, hopefully I'll get through it this year. And then we have a Grandia 2. So the first Grandia, I, ha I have never played one of the Grandia games before the Switch release got uh, announced. So um, I played the first game, and holy shit, that was a good game. Uh, after I played the first game, I was filled up. So I was like, I will come back to Grandia 2. I... And think I've never come back, but I really want to go back because Grandia 1 is absolutely incredible. And yeah. then we have Blasphemous 1 and 2. The reason why I, I really love this game, but for some reason, I stopped. I have tried to start this game around three to four times. 
And um, it's not that I don't like it. I really like it. I love the atmosphere. I love the combat system. I love everything in the game, actually. There, there isn't anything I don't like about the game. But I think the game is a, maybe a little too deep. Uh, it's a little bit too dark to my taste in some... As a, after I play two hours, I'm like, oh, I need to play another thing because it's too... It's too depressive in some way. Yeah. So it's the same with Shin Megami Tensei Five for some reason. But but this game is very bloody and uh, creepy, and the the music is very dark. But it's absolutely incredible. But I've heard this, the the game should be absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I loved what I played. So, Remember uh, the the Spanish voices. I heard that you. Yeah, and I put that. it on the last time, and I must admit, Mark is right on the Spanish voices. Yeah. Mark than from Encast has said that the, you need to have the the Spanish. <laughs> Voice over. Yeah. Uh, so it's, I have did, only one game. Left. You, yeah, you saved one. Yeah, that's cool. Did any of you play? Just speaking of depressing games, did any of you play uh, Darkest Dungeon? Uh, yeah, I played it a bit, but not that much. No, it's just the the, the stress system it has, and uh, yeah, everything. It's it's your characters can basically also get depressed in that game, uh, and you need to like manage their stress in some way. So yeah, that's also. Pretty depressing, I think. Yeah. Um, I think I can fairly quickly go through the next uh, three on my mm -hmm. list. Just mention it, mention them because these are like uh, big releases as well that I know I should get to. Uh, I have the first one is uh, Donkey Kong Con Country Tropical Freeze that was already uh, mentioned earlier. I played that on the Wii U, mm. um, and I think I mentioned this before because I love. Donkey Kong Country uh, 1 and 2 but I never got as much into Donkey Kong Country Returns and Tropical Freeze. What about 3? I never played that. That oh, is that's uh, a good also, one. Uh, one. Yeah, I, I know I should play that one as well. Uh, but yeah, I didn't get too far into Tropical Freeze on the Wii U So, but I feel like I should get back to it and, and give it another, another chance uh, because all I hear is that it's an amazing game. For a lot of uh, people it's the best Donkey Kong Country game. Yeah, that's what I hear. So, yeah, I should get back to that. Then I have uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. That's another case of me getting a game at launch and then for some <laughs> reason failing to start it and it ending up on my shelf. And again, I've heard only pretty much only good things about the about that game. I heard it, uh, it was pretty good and I I think it's another one for the list of games I can play with my kids. Which, it's a good game, always, but uh, it's not as good as Epic Yarn. Yeah. That's fair enough. Uh, but I think my, my kids would also enjoy it. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. And then the, the third one here is uh, Cinebl Cineblade Chronicles 2. And we've talked about this before. And I know you you try to talk me into just uh, skipping it and going straight to the third one. No, no, yeah, no. I, no. I, I, I can't do that. I, I, I really I want to play all the games. I really yeah. want people to play one, two, and three in order. But yeah, I know a lot gonna, of people. I'm gonna do that. I, but I know a lot it's of people. Take time. <laughs> but I know a lot of people will never get to number three, because they stop in number two. <laughs> so mm -hmm. often I say just skip two then. <laughs> but of course, <laughs> if you play two and three, that will be the best. Yeah. But <sighs> and I know we, we talked about this when I played the the first one uh, that I kind of liked the. I think his name was Ricky. I can't remember the the race. Yeah. Or what? But the little funny creature kind of guy he was kind yeah. of annoying at first but uh, mm -hmm. i don't know he grew on <laughs> me and i i i actually kind of liked him and I, I used him a lot and you told me that there is uh, the character of that uh, species or race or whatever you want to call it in Cinoblade chronicles 2 uh, should also be a pretty good one so maybe that's a, he's a, a pervert for me yeah perfect <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's perfect like a me. infamous i haven't even played the game but there's like an infamous cut scene i don't remember what yeah. I haven't seen any mate, of it, but, nom, nom, uh, whatever. But but yeah, so Cineblade Chronicles Two is definitely uh, on my my. And list if you're hardcore, well. you have to play Cineblade X Two. I have the collector's edition for Wii U, so I probably should. Yeah. Uh, Anna says uh, play Squirrel Stapler, Squirrel Stapler, Squirrel Stapler. <laughs> okay. Never heard of it. And Anna also says Kirby and the Forgotten Lands was my game of the year. So. Uh, was yeah. it last year? It was no mm, two years ago, right? I, I'm yeah, thinking so. two years ago. Yeah. yeah. Years ago. Uh, how you had one game left, uh, Daniel? What about you, Kim? I have two. 
You have two. Okay, I think I will take uh, one more then. Uh, this is a bit of an, an odd one. Maybe I should have even found a trailer, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to do this. Uh, you can find the trailers. Right I can uh, Kim take his one. Uh, yeah, but I don't even know what they're going to show in the trailer. I don't think it's that important, oh, yeah. actually. Um, but it is uh, Atari 50, the anniversary celebration. Oh, that should be a good one. I Yeah, that's the thing. I'm, I mean... I wasn't born 50 years ago and <laughs> there are a lot of the arcade games Fairly. that uh, I haven't played uh, but I just I heard the way that they made this game is just really interesting it's kind of like uh, like a museum documentary kind of thing where yeah. you get to play like early versions of the game and then you get told something about the game and then you play a, a, like a more newer version and then probably the final version in the end and it's supposed to be like a really cool way to handle these kind of collections yeah i heard of from a lot of people that the bonus yeah. thing in the game is the best they ever had in any games yeah so it's uh, they didn't just do the like the easy thing and make no. a collection of just the it's games not no, like they, a 3d they old put in a, they, they put in a lot of uh, effort and it uh, it also got amazing reviews but i'm not sure a lot of people played it because I don't know. Maybe it doesn't look too interesting. I to don't care about the games, but I care about the love they have put into the game. And I think yeah. the front cover is amazing. So I actually mm -hmm. thinking about to pick it up. Yeah, but that but is uh, that is why games. it's on my list because it's again it's different from the other games on my list. And also I heard just yeah the way they did it is is a, a really cool way to to get a lot of uh, like info about these games and try different weird versions. So uh, so yeah. I'm really interested to to try that one. And it's um, not that expensive either. No, I I have it physically. I mean, I mean, I only oh, you have I it? only put I only put games on my list that I I have physically oh, yeah. uh, already. So uh, Kim, can you yeah. uh, take one? Yeah, sure. Uh, Chained Echoes. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, still waiting for the physical. It was a really <laughs> good JRPG. I think I got around halfway through. Uh, but I played it to death for uh, a weekend and then I needed a break and I never got back to it. Have you come to the twist? You know when the twist happened. I didn't know. Oh, oh Kim, you have, oh, you have no. to play it then. Uh, the, the twist is so good. I was it, just like, what? It's definitely like my, my list has been in there ascending order of likelihood I'll play it. So this one is definitely high up there. Oh, you're, oh, the ending in Change Echoes. Oh, did you complete it? Yeah, I completed. Okay. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. I think the first half of the game was okay, but the middle when the twist come and the ending is mm. mind blowing. It takes like a twist got, that you haven't seen come. I got to the the island with the bird people. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so I'm yeah, still I don't waiting have... for that uh, that collector's edition. Yeah, I'm still waiting. That for is, <laughs> that's taking. A while. I don't have much more to say. Just you know, needed a break from it and never got back to it. So it's uh, yeah, uh, amazing Mark... game. If you like JRPGs, try yeah. it. Yeah, and the combat systems are very different from other JRPGs. I think you, you are oh, and the music and the oh, yeah, and it's made by one person. But yeah, incredible. There are some talented people out there. Yeah, for sure. Um, Mark says, if you're interested in the Atari 50 collection, Sonny, uh, look into the making of Karateka. I actually, I think I heard Mark talk about this on Encast. Uh, and the Jeff Minter story, both separate games in that same documentary format. Really cool. Yeah. Um, and then my second to last one is uh, Dead Cells. Uh, I heard that that is really good. That is... Uh, like a roguelike rogue light. I'm not mm. even sure when it's rogue light or when it's rogue like, but uh, but yeah, that kind of uh, game. And it was uh, bef I think it came out before Hades, and like before Hades, I feel like Dead Cells was the big thing in that uh, genre. I heard a lot of uh, good things, a lot of people who enjoyed it. Slay and the then... Spire. Slay the Spire. Yeah. Or what do you say? Yeah, I yeah. think that's the like uh, one of the. And Binding of Isaac, yeah. obviously, is the, is the... Oh, I haven't played Binding Isaac. No, I, I, I did. actually I didn't really like the game, but uh, that's besides oh, the Binding point. of Isaac is weird, yeah. 
but uh, but yeah, I I missed uh, Dead Cells, and then you know we got to like all the Hades stuff, and I played Hades, and I loved. It. I know it's not similar games otherwise, but uh, yeah, I I felt like uh, because I I also I don't play a lot of these roguelike roguelite games, but I you know I mean, you want to know I a like random them, fact. So I, I put one on my list, and that is Dead Cells. But yeah. you've been playing Great. has been Heroes since launch, basically. I have, yeah, it's been a while since I played it now, but yeah, I've played it uh, like on three or four like separate occasions where I played it. Yeah, Dead Cells was my first collector edition. Mm. Nice. That I was the thing that started what... everything. Mm. Yeah, and it I was just a random first. purchase, and it's absolutely amazing. You get. You get this figurine. Oh yeah, but that was that was like a later because they did an earlier collector's edition. Uh, that is that is from Signature Edition Games, right? No, I just bought uh, it from Cool Shop. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Anyway, we don't oh. need to get into that. But yeah, they made like an earlier version. I had that, and that was uh, like soft cardboard. So I have one with yeah, not mm. even crumbled corners, but uh, mm. yeah. A lot of this crumble, is so that's too bad. It's a big, that was a bigger one. Uh, metal case and uh, some stickers and things like that. It's a very yeah. cool collector edition. And uh, it had gone a lot up in price, actually, since I bought it. So that's cool. Yeah. But yeah, I, I need to play that at some point. I'm not the biggest fan of Dead Cells. So I was like, no? I was telling Mark, I'm thinking about maybe to sell my Dead Cells collector edition. And then he told me, no. Never sell the first collector edition you got. There's some history in it. And I would I was say like, that as well. Don't yeah, I would that. say no. But and I don't sell things anymore. But back then I was maybe I was considered selling things because it's a big collector edition and it feels a lot. But I don't care about the game that much. <laughs> it, I think it's an okay game. I don't. I think it's a little bit overhyped. I like the game, but it's not. It doesn't hold hold the candle to Hades. But um, no, no, I I don't expect that. I mean, Hades is yeah, yeah. that's a, a whole different ball game. Um, Anna says that she has been she has played The Binding of Isaac for like 200 hours. Ooh, nice. <laughs> uh, and Mark says Binding of Isaac is very gross, but so much fun. Yeah, there's a lot of poo in the. Uh, Why didn't Binding you like Isaac, it? I doesn't remember. And I just found the learning curve obsessed. too steep. In Binding of Isaac? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you said that. Don't read. <laughs> okay, I won't keep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but then, now I have to because now people are Kim told me not to read his comments because we need to finish tonight <laughs> Mark says uh, awesome did you see the new Prince of Persia game just announced by the Dead Cells developers looks incredible I didn't but uh, Crazy. it sounds interesting um, so I have one left I think we are at that point and I'll, I'll take it immediately because I can do this quickly uh, I put uh, uh, most of the games I put on here are games that I haven't played that I'm going to start from the beginning. Um, but this one I have played for 140 hours. It is <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom, but I am still only <laughs> halfway and I need to get back to it at some point. I did not fall as much in love with uh, Tears of the Kingdom as I did with uh, Breath of the Wild, but I still want to uh, to finish at least the story at some point. So I need to get back to that. And as I said, I did two temples or what they are called in, in that what? game. So I've, Only two I temples and you're 100 you know, 140 hours. Yeah. <laughs> I, like completed I... The whole, I completed the whole game and get the real ending and I played around 75 hours. Yeah, I don't understand. It's just I I was really and unfocused I when I I was unfocused when I played Breath of the Wild. I just went like left and right and got distracted all the time. I tried to focus more in Tears of the Kingdom and like follow a straight piece of road and it just it should take two minutes to walk to the next location, but then it takes an hour and a half because I still, I I get distracted all the time, and there are I feel like there are a lot more distractions in Tears of the Kingdom than in Breath of the Wild, and it's almost too much. Uh, so for someone like me, that makes the game take and, and I think a that's really the problem. Time. I think that's the problem. I don't think the Silla team want you to explore <laughs> every nook and cranny again. Like in Breath of the Wild. So Breath of oh, the Wild was difficult. the game where you had to explore everything. But in this game, you still have the same locations. But yeah. they want but you to new, they want you stuff. to explore the yeah. underground and the sky area. And then 
jumping around in the hyrule field and that's the reason why you get the the all the machines you can build and the bird thing where you can push you for uh, fast forward because they know you have to explore the same areas in breath of the wild and of course there are some new things but i i understand why people don't ending up completing tears of the kingdom if they are trying to look on every nook and cranny in the game i don't think i don't they want i you don't to do, do that. that but you know if I get distracted, well, I will... Well, uh... you're playing 145 hours <laughs> One, and you're 140, only, yeah. And you're <laughs> only completed two temples. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. So, but that's that's the thing. Um, and Mark says, then you fall into the underground and then 10 more hours pass because you can't see shit. But... Yeah. Can just Tears, of the but... Kingdom, Tears of the Kingdom is one of my best experience I have ever mm-hmm. had. And I played yeah. for 75 hours, so I must have done something right. And I think sometimes if you try to milk everything out of a game and you're ending up seeing, saying that you're ending up not lagging as much as uh, Breath of the Wild, maybe you should play it in another way. So you don't yeah, do it as I, in Breath I think, of the Wild. I, yeah, I think I, I play it kind of like I played Breath of the Wild, probably my favorite game uh, of all time. So I, I feel like, oh, by the way, ding, 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 we crossed uh, three hours. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> that, is, that is the, yeah, so that's the magic point where we can we can cut off and uh, go to bed oh but anyway so yeah i don't know i because i enjoyed the exploration and all that stuff so i i wanted some of the the same out of tears of the kingdom and it's not that i don't enjoy it i still I, there's a reason i spent 140 hours i wouldn't do that is if, if i thought it sucked uh but i i just wasn't as into it as with breath of the wild i so, love that you but, say you will do this fast and you're talking about still tears of the kingdom one of the most hyped games ever and then you're thinking <laughs> we can do it fast <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now now we covered it we could do a whole, <laughs> whole I, episode about tears yeah of the we kingdom. could we could uh but uh, but yeah i should get back and uh, and finish uh, that game at some point at least uh, the story yeah okay uh, i will do my fast i will do my fast I yeah, want to you play Final like Fantasy that. 1, 2, mm. uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 because I love the RPGs and Final Fantasy have never connected to me, with me. And I really want to play the remastered version of the games, especially number 6. That's it. Yeah. Very nice. I'll do my last one then. Uh, Outer so, Wilds. Hmm, nice if I can one. only play one game from my list, it'll be this one for sure. Um, just real quick, in case people don't know, um, it's a game where you have uh, 22 minutes and then uh, the sun turns into a black hole and you start over. Uh, so it's all about exploring the universe and finding the secrets to stopping the cataclysm. Um, I was so high. I had a friend who told me about the game. It's it's out, been out for a couple of years on uh, PC and I had a friend who told me about it like, yeah, maybe three, four years ago. And I've been waiting for the Switch release ever since. And then I buy it and the Pokemon DLC drops like <laughs> two days after or something like that. Um, so I got away from it and haven't gone back to it. But I really, I played it for like a couple hours and I really loved the game. And I'm, I am going to finish that game. It's, it's not a question. Awesome. I started it on uh, on PS4, and uh, I also feel like I should play that more. But it's so difficult for me to play on on PlayStation. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to get it for. Does for it hurt Switch while you're playing on PlayStation? Deck. No, no, it's uh, I don't have anything against PlayStation. It's just uh, being tied to the TV, and yeah. I, even though I'm sitting in my living room, I pl- play. When I play with my kids, we usually play on the TV. But if I, I'm playing on my own, I usually play handheld in the couch um so yeah good was that all the games yeah. yes okay so we have one final thing and then we can actually say we managed to complete the backlog topic in only three parts guys <laughs> this is insane but we have what I, now I'm, I feel like we should have done this when we had uh, like the most viewers. Everyone is going to bed and they will listen to this uh, afterwards. You still uh, have eight. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. It's just the lightning round. That is what we're missing, and it. Mm. Uh, I feel like it uh, better be lightning. Uh, yeah. Mm, I yeah, it is because it's competitive this time, so you okay. need to 
to be fast. Uh, last time I did a lightning round where we talked about like big titles for the Switch and just have you played them or haven't you played them. So I needed to come up with uh, with something new. Mm -hmm. So this is a lightning round that I call Name That Game. And we're going to do it, if you don't mind, we'll do it uh, because we could talk about it and you can answer each question. But we're going to do it competitively. Yeah. So you guys need to answer quickly and whoever answers first gets a point and we'll see who gets the most points. What do we have to... Answer. I'll I'll tell you, but now I'm just telling you it's it's competitive and uh, yeah you have to answer quickly. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. So the lightning round is name that game, and you can't say anything that is on your list, and you can't mention the same game more than once. So I have a list of statements, and for each statement you need to come up with a game that suits that statement for you, and if it's something related to a backlog. Can you come with it's... an example? I'm not sure if I understand. We can we can take the the first question, and I think it will make sense yeah. or the first statement. Um, so if it's something related to your backlog, it's uh, it's fair if you don't own it. It can also be a game that you intend to play at some point and will buy it. Okay. So the first one we can take that as a trial run. The first statement is a game you've started but not finished. Um, and then you, you need to. Yeah, but it couldn't be something on your list. That oh, was it couldn't be something on the I mean, list. Okay. So many. Uh, Cat Quest But two. you need to come up with one. Cat Quest 2. Cat Quest 2. Oh. Okay. Uh, I actually played the first Cat Quest, and that was uh, kind of fun. I beat the first one as well. Hmm? Mario versus Rabbit Sparks of Hopes. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, but does that does it make sense, uh, yeah. Daniel? Yes. Yeah, you need to be the first to come up with a, a game that suits the statement, right. and it can't be something that has been mentioned before or something on your list. Funny thing. And for the the remaining few viewers, you can try to play along in the chat if you want. Be the first one to throw a title out there. Ooh. Oh, now it just closed my... I love your little game, Sonny. <laughs> but I won't be making one. I'll be honest, time. I'm getting a bit too tired for this, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, I thought that but... as well because you need to you need to brain at this point, and uh, it's been long. But we'll see how it goes. It's yeah. totally fair. Do you have okay. a licorice pipe on your T-shirt? That's awesome. Yeah, licorice pipe. That's <laughs> the. It's not a pipe uh, T-shirt, isn't it? No, it's a. What does it say? Uh... I'm trying to lean in. I'm not actually sure. Can... <laughs> as uh, if I can do that. Best. Uh... No argument beats a pointing licorice pipe. Ah, yeah. You can win every argument by <laughs> so pointing with topic. a licorice pipe. <laughs> totally. I have, uh, this is a wonderful, no, 101, <laughs> wonderful 101 t-shirt. I got it from Kickstarter. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the second statement. Uh, I gave Kim a point for the first one. So yeah. he is in front. Uh, a game no, you that was own... a test. Sure. I'm I'm not I'm not saying that I'm a fair judge. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll say it's a half point. If we need a tiebreaker, that would be the one. <laughs> okay, the second statement. A game you own but haven't started. Uh, spark of hope. Oh, that was mean. <laughs> that was mean, Kim. <laughs> but could you say the same thing that I said? Didn't you say um, we couldn't say the Sphinx? Yeah, sure. If you both give an answer, that's true. So you need to come up with another one. Soldiers. Soldiers. Is that for Switch as well? Yeah. But you don't need to come up with one, Kim. That's fine. No, it's fine. Let's, let's just move on. Soldiers. We are torturing Kim at this point, Daniel. <laughs> he is a tired boy. But he still okay. gets points. <laughs> the, the third statement. A game from a series you love that you haven't played. Uh, Pokemon XT. Uh, that I love that, but I'll, if yeah, I so love like a series, I'll play them. No, yeah, but there could be a series where there is, I mean, there's you haven't like played Golden Sun 3. True, Golden Sun 3. Thank you. So Kip. that could be one. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. I'm bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe this will be tough. A game you bought on sale but never played. Uh, 
Resident Evil 6. Yes, I'm Point. I a lot, but the I don't answer. remember. I mean, as soon as uh, someone has answered, we don't need to yeah. get too much into <clears throat> it. That's fine, Kim. Yeah. Uh, an indie game in your backlog. Um, this one. Uh, Vernal H. Vernal H. Yeah, I really want to yeah. play that game. Um, it looks good. It's a Metrovania with the PlayStation One graphic. People are answering quickly in the chat as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Max Race race on the Game Boy. The game wow. Boy. I, I think that's like, you know, a series he loves, but uh, a game he has missed from that series, I suppose. Wave Race on the Game I, Boy. I really want to see the water effect on yeah, the Game Boy. Yeah, because, I mean, that's, Wave Race is a big uh, tech demo for the, yeah. the water and stuff. And uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, this is a longer one. Uh, a game you want to play or feel like you should play, but you haven't done it yet because it seems too overwhelming. Persona 5. Right. But you mentioned that on your list, so that doesn't oh, count. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, Octopath Traveler 2. That's fair. Yeah. Um, a sequel to a game you finished. Octopath Traveler Two. You can <laughs> say the game, the same game twice. Uh, uh, Last of Us Two. But I haven't completed the first. Fuck. <laughs> uh, and you also had Last of Us on your list. Something. Oh, just yeah. look at I... the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... Golden Sun Three. No, I have to say that. <laughs> uh, what? Well. Anna says Persona 5. Whoa, you're really lost on this one. You don't have anyone, anything? Keep... I, I don't think I have any. My brain isn't working anymore. That's fine. I actually don't, think I, have, I don't <laughs> actually don't think I have a second game that I... I'm sure you, I have a ton. You hit, the, you hit the buzzer. We're moving on to the yeah. next one. Um, a game Action version want... 2. No, I said that too. You said that. Stop it, Daniel. We're moving Nino, on to the next statement. Nino Kuni 2. Nino Kuni 2. Fair Did enough. Did you beat the first one? No. Damn it. But you said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you also said it after the buzzer, so you don't get a point either way. Uh, okay, so the next one is a game you want to play from a genre you rarely play. And this game. Uh, what did you say, Kim? Eastern. This yeah, county. I, but that is that was on the lists. No, it's a dangerous list, not mine. Mm, well, that's this county. Cool. This county. <laughs> We're going to give Kim a point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I think something like this where it's a quiz and you need to use your brain, we need to put that segment uh, earlier <laughs> in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect we, we don't we we have a total of 16 statements oh Anna is still here uh okay the next one is a game you bought or thought about buying because you were were convinced it would become one of the rare ones I'm sonic frontiers collector edition so, so, yeah you thought but that it, would be one of the rare ones yeah but, but it might the... be it was Even only for it no, it's, it's a falling in price. <laughs> you get it for 500 now, and I paid th thousand. And I thought yeah. it would be pricey because you can only get it from Japan. So, Japan, Japan. I have never yeah. done that. No, you never, no, I have, but I, I, I had uh, to get copy this statement collect then, edition too. <laughs> but I mean, Daniel, you could mention. I love All my games. games for this statement. <laughs> statement, I think. Oh, this is gonna be one Super Mario Odyssey. This is gonna be one of the rare ones. I know it. <laughs> Inscription is probably the best purchase yeah. I've made. Inscription yeah, is I'm... actually a rare one. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually think Change Echoes will be too. Anna says uh, Watch Dogs on Wii U. Yeah. Okay, we are at number ten, and we have sixteen, so we are getting there. But it's a funny game. I like it. 
Uh, number 10 is a game you were really hyped for but haven't played. I have none. Uh, uh, all hype game. That doesn't uh, happen. Oh, it, no, not it if I'm hyped for it. Um, I'm hyped for it. After. Triangle strategy. Triangle strategy. Uh, yeah, because that's like with Mario Wonder for me, for example. I was hyped for that, but I haven't played it yet. So it, it happens. Uh, so the score we can before we take the last uh, six uh, statements. Kim has four points and Daniel has five, so it's still really close. <laughs> um, so number eleven, uh, a game you've been meaning to replay. Donkey Kong Country Two. To replay again and again. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Uh, number twelve. A game you stopped playing right before the final boss or level. Luigi's Mansion 3. Wow. Why? I don't know. Like, yeah. I did. I think I got to the final boss. I just couldn't beat him, and then I didn't. Like, Can I felt like off. I'd seen what the game had to offer, so I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on it. On the tail, um, the the genocide road. I stopped at the uh, uh, Saints. Yeah. And Anna says, I think that's uh, an answer to this last one. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. She says. And then we have uh, number 13. <laughs> I feel like I I, I I named a lot of games in, uh, in this category. Uh, this episode. A game that's considered a classic that you haven't played. <laughs> 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 uh, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey, yeah, Donkey Kong Country two or three. Yes. Let's say take three, ten, or set two. Uh, I don't oh. think I have a classic game I haven't played, actually. Kim, now because you said uh, three, I changed your score to three. That's not fair. Okay, fair. <laughs> uh, so you don't have one, Daniel. A game that's considered uh, that's not possible. There must be some kind that of I game own? that's considered a cla- no, 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 just a game that's considered a oh. classic that you haven't played. You don't need to own it. Okay. Uh, uh, so I, I, I know you play a lot of games. Zero GX. F Zero GX. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Mark says uh, Paper Mario. Don't be mad at me, Anna. <laughs> I'm amazed that Mark is awake at this point. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. So and uh, yes, yeah, is uh, that. Uh, <laughs> he stopped at and, the last boss in Luigi's Mansion 3. That's cute. That's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Andreas did that as well. Yeah. True, man. I don't know. It just Shadow Man is sometimes. such a classic. Yeah. So you need to play Shadow Man. No, that <laughs> I, I, I have never stopped at a final boss. No, I no. That was not the statement. The statement was a game considered a classic that you haven't played. No, yeah. But uh, the final Andreas. boss was before that. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm at the the point in Endcast where they're talking about uh, Paper Mario and uh, Nicholas is uh, is playing it right now, so sounds good. Mm, let's see, we have uh, three left. Yes, this one is probably mostly for Daniel, so this is kind of not fair. <laughs> uh, a game you have multiple copies of but haven't played, haven't played. Wow, is is that possible? Can you? F- uh, and it's Kim. It's uh, fine if it's uh, digital copies or, or something. If you have it on Steam and Switch because you got it on sale and you haven't played it mm, or something like that. No, if you can I come up have. with an answer, I don't have. Uh, no. I probably have. I might have something that I have on both Steam, both Steam and Switch, yeah. but I don't remember. It's a difficult one. We're gonna say, Bap! you hit the buzzer. Zero points. You're at the. Six, I actually, six, I actually had one, but it was on my not list. Uh, Action Verge two. I have it two times. Okay. But zero points because it was after the buzzer. Yeah, so you're I, at the uh, 6-6 six, six, and we have two statements left. So uh, this is the time to to be quick. Use your remaining 1% uh, brain, <laughs> brain power. <laughs> uh, number 15 is the game that has been in your backlog the longest that you still haven't played. Um, I don't think there's like we're not talking about the list we just gave, just in general. Yeah, in general. 
And because I, I know it's it's you probably can't. Paper Mario remember. Color Splash. Hmm? Because I don't think on the list I gave today, I don't think there's a single game besides Tunic, which I don't own, that I haven't at least played. Oh, you have to own it? You have to um, own it? Uh, Sorry? No, no, oh, okay. not necessarily. So, it, so it, I still... I said at the beginning, because you buy maybe uh, more games than Kim does, so it wasn't fair if you had to own them mm-hmm. all. It could be just games that you want to play, but haven't. I really want to yet. play That's Color totally Splash, fair. but it was one of the last games for the free U, so I never come around to it. But if it comes to Switch, I will play it, definitely. So we have, we are almost losing uh, Kim. He is almost falling asleep. <laughs> but we have we have one one statement left, <laughs> and uh, Daniel is leading uh, seven to six. And the last statement is worth our hundred points. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that will be very unfair. Like one point. Yeah, I always. It's so weird when they do stuff like that. You have to compete for a long time, and someone is in the lead, and then the last thing decides it anyway. So, but no, it's just one point. Uh, the most recent game you have bought and haven't played. This again. Uh, Vernal H. And you have to you have to oh. go to the second most recent because you oh. already already mentioned that one. I think this East game, I can't pronounce it. Is a Japanese version of a, a PSP game. Fair is enough. The Oath East of something. Ha- Felagon Memories. East Memor. Memo- <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It hasn't been released in uh, Europe. Wait, do you, any of you know who Soundbreaker is? I think we have someone new in the, the chat. It's a bad time right to join. <laughs> who is this Soundbreaker? Oh, hey, Soundbreaker. That's, hey, Soundbreaker. You are where joining are you from? us right are you from? as we are ending. Yeah, we yeah, are where ending. Are you from? But where are you from? Which country? But uh, that was the end of the, the lightning round. Drum roll. Brrr. Daniel got uh, eight points and uh, Kim didn't give a shit. I can live <laughs> with that. Six, six <laughs> points. So that's totally fair. I'll try not to put uh, put quizzes at the end uh, another time. I think the quizzes are but, funny. Uh, yeah, yeah. But maybe, but if you, uh, if maybe you have you to need... compete, it shouldn't be in the end. Maybe because you need a break to be the host next time. Maybe it's Kim. I, yeah, I, don't know. I was gonna, I was gonna say that because uh, we did it, guys. It's we can celebrate. We finished the trilogy of uh, trying to get through the backlog to- topic. We actually did it because I was not to bo- supposed to be the host every time. Uh, it took us around that, ten hours. Yeah, that just kind of happened because uh, we spend a lot of time on this. So yeah, I think I also I need a break and. Uh, we can see if it's going to be Kim or Daniel, and I will, of course, still be uh, be on for the episode. I just won't be be hosting the, the next couple of times, I think. Uh, and I think if you guys want to, you can uh, still do the lightning round and all that stuff, of course. That would be, yes. be fun uh, as well. I think but, uh, NSA is woohoo because we are done. With yeah, the, the topic. But but I don't think it's because she's like, oh, finally they're done. I think she I think is, so. she's like rooting for us. <laughs> yeah, you did it, guys. You finally. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're so, right. Uh, but yeah. So I'll I'll step uh, back from uh, from hosting for the next couple of times. But uh, yeah, we'll next see. Next time it will be Jack time. Lund uh, hosting. <laughs> <laughs> really, <laughs> but we also uh, now we need to come up with a new topic for the next episode because uh, we can't milk this anymore. Yep. So uh, that will be interesting. We'll see what we we find out. But uh, as always, I had a blast. And uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Daniel. Purple and uh, thank you to everyone who has been watching. It has been yeah, so much so fun. Much. And uh, we will see you next time. And this is the Ghastly Goombas podcast. We are done with the backlog, finally. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.